Welcome guys to the monthly myth for January uh, 2021, the Kelpie. So yeah, the Kelpie is a water horse and we are going over the missions for this particular reveal today. Um, if you guys are interested in jumping in on reveals in the future, um, I will drop some links in bio to show you guys how to do so. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you're here to watch this stream. Um, the reveal streams are the first Tuesday of every month and they happen on Twitch Live. Um, and then I, I do air them later on YouTube. Um, I do hope that you go and you support the artists by checking out their work um, on the site. They have all of their social media links, you know, a lot of them stream, a lot of them have Instagrams, and yeah, just show them a lot of love and support. And thank you guys so much for checking this out. And uh, next reveal is going to be, I, I cannot say this, but I'm going to try the, the man, <laughs> sorry. Mananda, the Mananda gal, the Manandal gal, Manandal gal, man and an gal, man and an gal. <laughs> I can't freaking say it. Um, but it's due the March 2nd, and it is essentially like a vampire thing that like rips its torso off and flies around and eats like cool. Like loved loved ones. It's really it's a really weird creature. Um, but yeah, I, um, I hope that you read about it. I'll also put that in the, the description of the video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the reveal stream. Okay, bye. Yeah, it, it says it's off though. It's got a little. Maybe it's on my side. Let me see. I can see myself. Oh, yeah, there you go. You got it. I think there was a little button clicked or something. There! Now we now we see a Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Progress! Progress. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this thing. Go to this other source here. Put you on that one too. I'm so sorry everyone. I it promise I was in time. I was up an hour ago. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You know, life happens and you know, kind of th things like this is kind of like melting the ice here, you know, we're breaking the ice. Now, 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 this is the worst it can get, right? So now it's all gonna be <laughs> uphill from now. Nothing but greatness now. <laughs> Just look at it that way. Hey, and we publicly did this, so, you know. <laughs> you got a bunch of narwhals on your head. What is going on over there? Let me throw these narwhals off you. Oh, what's going on? There's like tons of them. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Shush! Shush! Yeah, quiet. Okay, so now we are going to start the reveal. All right, we're, we're starting it right now. <laughs> Um, almost a half an hour late, but we're here, and thank you guys for being patient during that. <laughs> uh, can we go ahead and get uh, some shoutouts out of the way? And uh, hi, Punky. And uh, yeah, let's. And hi, Creative Jenny. Hi, Zuni. Yeah, guys, let's uh, let's get some of these shoutouts, um, my mods, and just uh, get them all out there, all of them. And uh, while those shoutouts are happening, and. Uh, Let's uh, let's introduce Miss Rianos, and uh, I guess uh, tell everyone uh, what you're about, um, what you do. I'm gonna throw these narwhals off you while you talk. <laughs> I do wood burning. I uh, make um, uh, art. I burn that in wood. And that's actually what I do normally. Uh, yeah, and you do uh, Twitch, you're on Twitch. Yeah, I am on Twitch. Uh, F yeah, three times a week, mostly. 
Yeah, so she is a um, Twitch streamer. She does wood burning art. Uh, she also does traditional arts, and she's been working in some digital, which is really awesome. She's been using the reveals to do some digital, which is really exciting. Which yeah, it's yeah, true. Look, I am, but it's mostly it at the moment. I am not doing anything else too much digitally yet. Um, I like to do some more digitally. I'm sorry, I'm having technical difficulties with the narwhals now, because like everything is trying to break on me right now. So I'm sorry guys, I keep uh, turning them off and trying to turn them back on because they're broken. My computer really hates it when I record and stream at the same time. Which I am doing that. <laughs> I am doing that. So at least there's that. Okay, so let's see if I can... There we go. I think the narwhals are fixed now. Yeah, I think they're fixed. Okay, sweet. All right, so let's, uh, thank you for all those shout outs. Um, guys, go and follow all these amazing artist streamers and game streamers. Uh, thank you for the raid again, Sebweb. That is very awesome of you to do that and to show so much support on these reveal days. It means a lot. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let's, let's start to reveal. Um, this month is the Kelpie, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the screen so we can uh, talk about that real quick. Yeah, so this right here is the Kelpie. It is a like a water horse essentially. Um, yeah, and uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump into the first submission. Do this real quick. Oh shit! Actually. I take it back. I need to publish my site. I just uh, put uh, two entries in there and it's not published with that change. So, hold on a second, let me publish it. It'll only take a second. I say that and then my computer is like, recording and streaming, I'm dying. Okay, there it goes. Oh no. It's okay, I got it. What are you doing? <laughs> Ooh. What are you doing? Just underscore underscore monk donated one hundred dollars for monk. no reason in particular. You're doing great, Dead. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> I'm thank just not over you. here. Okay, thank thank you I for that. Know. <laughs> and yeah, so let's uh <laughs> let me refresh this again. All right, there we go. And now we'll actually jump into it. Yeah, I just I forgot to publish the site after I made those changes. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been in there, and that would have been no fun. And uh, what computer? Get with it. Get with it. We don't have time for you to make up your mind. Okay, so... Oh, shit. Ah! There we go. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the first submission. Shit. It's me. Ah! Well, it's you. <laughs> shit. Just to get Making a... Oh, man. I am not doing any good at this today. <laughs> Juan, thank you for the host. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys are hosting in the middle of this madness that they're <laughs> causing. All right, um, What's well- What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so with Rihanna's, um, with the ones that um, are audio-based, uh, you might have to listen to them on your side. Uh, the first one is uh, Monks, actually. So we're gonna switch over to Monks. Um, and uh, during, uh, uh, during while I'm playing it, um, we're, we're just not gonna speak the first time through. So I'm gonna pause the music real quick, which I just did, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and watch this uh, first reveal um, with the complete silence be with us, and then uh, then uh, we'll uh, talk about the commentary and stuff. So this one's monks. All right. It's me. Well, it's you. Just a younger you making a time capsule and yeah it's awkward and corny as fuck but i have a message for you 
no narration voice, no music, just me talking to you, just in case when you're listening to this, you've got your head up your ass. I need you to remember where you are at this point of your life making this recording. 2020 was pretty bad, but it honestly wasn't that bad. You're stronger than ever, more centered, and you have clarity as you're speaking right now that I hope that you have when you're listening to this. I need you to remember the friends that you've made and how much you love them, how much you want to make sure that they will be well. The lesson I need you to remember is that you cannot take care of them. You can't help them unless you take care of yourself. Forgive yourself and stay in a good place, both mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. All four parts have to be taken care of or you won't be able to take care of others. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'll leave you with this. The reason why you are in a good place right now, well, at the time of this recording, is because you're able to be honest with yourself about your fears. You have a lot of them. And, well, your biggest fear is that someday you won't be able to be honest with yourself about what you fear. So don't be scared, but if you are scared, be honest about it. Be well, be kind, and may your heart thrive. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna read now um, what Monk said. Um, the title is I Forgive You. And it says, this piece was a vent about just where I am in my life right now. This vent didn't dump negative energy so much as it poured out a bucket of surreal clarity. The Kelpie is a water horse with shape-shifting capabilities. I felt like it was meant to be for this vent, to be for this creature, seeing that I have changed so much as a person between now and a year prior. People can change. They just have to fight for it and earn it. Every day. But it is difficult for the Kelpie to reflect in turbulent waters, so you might find that it is best to allow a friend to enter your life. You don't have to fight it alone. This is gorgeous. Like, by far one of my favorite pieces of yours. Um, it, like, it definitely rocks me to the core, and just the visuals and the message and... There's just so much about this piece that I love. <laughs> and like the light at the top that you have, um, like kind of like peering down, uh, the like the white kelpie wrapping around the black kelpie and the black kelpie is like, you know, got these legs coming through and poking or whatever you want to call them, like poking through, um, but the white one's not letting go. And it's just like accepting those darker parts of yourself and helping yourself heal and it just it you can see the tears coming out of the white kelpie's eyes it just is a it's a very very gorgeous piece monk uh, just everything about this piece that's why i said i i have to have this on my wall <laughs> and i forgot to ask you like i want to put this like on my like desktop because this is amazing it's it speaks so much to acceptance and self-love, and that's something I'm trying to go through right now and accept myself. So this this speaks volumes, and the message, the beauty, like the colors, everything. I could just yes, it's amazing. And uh, um, Rihanna, do, is there anything that you wanted to add? Let me uh, turn the music back on. Your color use. Um, normally, I, I always love your color use, but here particularly more, um, I love the way you uh, get the 
white it's golden and it really is uh, giving light out the black is bursting with light uh, yeah I've seen you uh, make it in stream uh, and the way you do that and it's all one layered I am it's how you make that it's so nice to lead on Your way of working is so painterly. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, and I love how you work in like a monochromatic, like gray tones and get those like really extreme contrasts and then add color. And I've always said that about your work, like even like way back in the day. Um, but you've just grown so much as an artist, even the, in this past year. And I'm honored that you spend your time on these monthly myths because they are incredible. The pieces that you have been making are absolutely incredible. And the messages that you carry with them, the stories, like everything. I look forward to your submissions and I hope that you're able to keep up with them. And if not, we understand, but man, this is, they're incredible. Um, let's uh, move to chat and see what people have to say. Um, Punky says, I 100% agree with Dead. This piece is absolutely gorgeous, and there is so much depth and feeling in it. You did amazing. Uh, Jelly says, so many emotions in this piece. Blend says, I would honestly love to have it as a big coffee mug. On a big coffee mug? Totally, totally. He should sell merch with this yes. on it. Um, Adam says, Monk is god of arts. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we need prints, exactly. Blend, I agree. We need prints. I can totally see this in my son's bedroom. He has lots of horses in his bedroom. Yeah. Uh, on, the, on the wall. And this would just totally fit in them. See, we're already imagining it in our homes. So you, ne you need to sell prints somehow. Like, yes. Yes, that needs to happen. It does. And if you have any questions about that, Monk, I can try <laughs> to help you with that as well. Um, let's see. This um, Juan says, this is powerful and deep, both artistically and its message. It is. I agree. Hezu says, it's very beautiful and moving. And yeah, guys, go and check out um, Just Monk. Just Monk is a streamer, so get in there and show him lots of love and support. I'm going to come back over here. Yep, so we're switched back over to the close-up, and I'm gonna say hi to the people that have come in, and then we're gonna switch to the next piece. But thank you so much for submitting, it was beautiful, it's beautiful! I'm so excited, and I love the time capsule idea, and... Yeah, I could, I could just keep going, but I, I should stop. Oof, that makes me want to cry. Idea of people wanting my art on their walls. Seriously, Monk. Seriously. You need to make prints. Like, I already it harassed you about it, so... <laughs> really, really, yeah. I, I can so see my, my, my son is really into horses, but, my, but he's a boy and he's also really tough. So, he really wants... Uh, he, uh, so it's not like, and he always has this curly um, uh, posters up uh, because there aren't any others and he likes to have more tough horses around. So yeah, he lo would love to have a print of this yeah, on his, it... his bedroom. <laughs> okay, so uh, the next piece is by Sketcher. I'm just trying to see if I missed anyone coming in. Oh, thanks for the hug, Monk. Okay, let's uh, let's switch to sketchers here. All right, so this one is sketchers, and uh, uh, sketcher says Moon Breeze is the title, and I decided to make a kelpie that all the children would love and accept. Oh, <laughs> its name is Moon Breeze. They swim through the night to play with children in the morning. It's- it looks very deceiving. <laughs> it looks very deceiving! <laughs> what do you mean? 
No, I love that you chose to go classic My Little Pony. Like, uh, I loved yeah. seeing this, like the nose. Like, I'm like, oh, it's a classic My Little Pony, not like the My Little Pony that's going on right now. It's classic. So I love that you chose to do that. Um, when I saw this piece, it was really, it was really exciting. Because um, <laughs> nostalgia, I mean, yes. Um, I also like the way you painted the hair. It has a, um, I, I don't think I've seen you do the hair like this, like, in the past. It's, it's got very, like, flat tones in it, um, but the streaks can, uh, like, add a lot of volume to it. It's, and you've got, like, swirls in there, so, like, you've added a lot of different textures with the lines there. Um, and you are getting so much better at line weights, so I'm excited to see that you're using some line weights. And... Yeah, like I, I like Bubble it. <laughs> yes, the bubbles. <laughs> you you can go ahead, Rihanna. The bubbles in the background, I I like them. They make uh, up for. It's not just a little bit of uh, uh, blue and white and, but just those bubbles. They break it. Yeah, how did you make them? Did you like really paint them? Because they are beautiful. They look like a brush to me, but I'm not sure. Oh, that could be it. Like a bubble brush. <laughs> ah, that could be it. Um, but I, I guess, do you want me to move to chats or? Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, so uh, Punky uh, says a uh, sketcher. I love this one. They're so cute. I love the colors and soft blues and greens work so well together. I agree. It's a, it's a really good mix of colors. Um, Jelly says very cute, and I love the pastel coloring, and it's fun and lighthearted. Uh, Blunt says I just got slapped with the nostalgia of my childhood. I love it. <laughs> the weight, yeah, the line weight club <laughs> blend. <laughs> No, they are a filter. Okay, so it's a filter. It's a sketcher. And one says, I could see this design on a kid's toy sticker for sure, or like a coloring book. Oh my gosh, we, we tell sketcher all the time. Oh, oh. Coloring books, coloring books, coloring books. Coloring books! Yes. Love the cutie mark, says Zuni. Looks perfect, I would love that, says Effalusia. All right, so um, let's come back here. And guys, uh, Sketcher is also a streamer. Um, she streams occasionally, and uh, she also does work on Instagram. So let me come back over here. I'm trying to trying to make sure that I that I do the promotion of the people. Like, I I hate that I forget that sometimes. Um, but yeah, let me say hi to the people that have come in. I could see this. Let me see. In the progress, just a few more myths to do. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see the next one. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes, alright. Now uh, let's go. Um, the next one is Yats. So, if Yats still here. Okay, so this one's Yats, and it says the Kelpie is a Scottish mythical water horse. Children like to ride on its back. The next day, all of the rem that remains are the entrails. Oh no. For some reason to me, that said Kraken horse? And submission. Oh, okay, yeah. So then you wrote like all the information on it. Um, Yat says uh, Kraken horse. Um, when reading about the Kelpie thing that sa that stood out to me was the stories of how it lures children into riding on its back and then eats them. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, with that in mind, the Kraken horse um, picture came to mind. I felt that using the tentacles, I could express the story in a way I wouldn't be able to do with more accurate um, representation. Uh, there are a lot of firsts for me here. First time having a proper attempt at the arts 
first time using a drawing tablet and first time using a sketchbook. Fuck yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. That's exciting. Um, there was a oh. lot of confusion and random. <laughs> what what is that? Randomized button pressing <laughs> to try and get my ideas down. I love that. Um, I originally wanted to do some more of a realistic landscape background, and um, that had an I. Idolistic like side view on one side transitioning to an angry storm on the right uh, What I ended up with is a lot more abstract Which is partly because I was really struggling to draw an actual storm But also because I was playing around this effect sort of appeared and I really liked it um, All all in all I really am happy with it and I feel like it's getting the story across even without writing I am learning a lot in the process, and most surprising to me is that it looks much more like art than I imagined I was capable of. I wouldn't have known that these were your first. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Seriously? This is your first time attempting? Properly attempting at arts? Like, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, I need to see more of your art. <laughs> Yeah, I want to see more of your art if this is if this is a first. But yeah, let me uh, let me zoom. Can I zoom in on this? No, it's not letting me. Ah, <laughs> I hate that it won't let me zoom in. But yeah, like I, you know, I kind of gathered that this was a storm. So you know, I saw that, and I like how you went a little bit more bizarre. You know, with the tentacles and like you've got one like a little child like bouncing on the tongue here <laughs> and all the other kids are just oblivious to what's happening over over here right and i just i love your ideas here and i can't wait to see more of your art i really hope that you continue to submit things because this was fun and to hear this there was a lot of firsts here like that is freaking exciting so I do hope you keep up with it, and like the shading and everything that you've got on here. This is awesome. Please keep it up. And uh, do you have anything else to say, Rihanna? <laughs> do you have anything to add? Oh no, did she freeze? Oh, she froze. We lost her. We lost her. Oh, you're back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. I lost you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I was just like, why are you there? Okay. Uh, I love. I couldn't. I love the clouds in the background. I really love the clouds in the background. I love the purples. I love the colors. I love the way you uh, made the kelpie like a monster. I love the concept of your Kelpie. Uh, and I can't believe that is your first time attempting digital art. It's so neat. It's so neat. Okay, uh, we can move yeah. to chat too if you want now. Um, and one says interesting style. Um, Evolution says, this is a very creative idea, and I really like how it turned out, Yats. Uh, Raven says, this is very impressive, Yats. <laughs> Let's see, what else? What is he? Um, Monk says, this Kelpie is terrifying. <laughs> I'm so glad that you are experimenting landscapes, and landscapes add so much to a piece. Yes, yes they do. And I, I hate landscapes, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I love the light and the dark side of it. The transition is great, says Blend. And, uh, yeah, that's very interesting. I can hear myself, I'm sorry. Um, Jelly, can you turn that down? <laughs> I can hear myself, it's driving me nuts. Um, but anyway. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's come back here. Oh, wait! Punky says something. And uh, Loki jelly of the fact that you are. Wait, what? Oh, Loki jelly, you're jealous of the fact that you are this good with your first shot. I really love that screaming kid on the tongue. Also, I feel 
where Kelpie is at at this point. Yeah. That's what I was saying, like, it being a first. Like, that's awesome. Okay, so let me, uh, let me come back here. Okay, and... I didn't see any new people coming in. I think we're good. But yeah, um... I don't believe yet you you don't stream, but if you want to drop any like your of your Insta or anything like that in stream um, in a chat, go ahead and do that. Yeah, if you want to do that. And okay, so the next one is Becca's or Becky's. <laughs> okay, so come back here. Okay. So this one is Becky's, and the title is Kelpie, and with this Kelpie piece, I experimented with... What is that? Oh who? A who? A what? <laughs> markers? A who markers? I've never heard of them. That I got at, uh, as a late Christmas gift. I asked Nin for what to do for advice. So Nin helped out. No, I really like this. Like, um, honestly, when I, when I first look at this, like, I think... Like, the background is so abstract, and I really like that about this piece. You've got, like, the reds mixed in there, and you've kind of, like, brought, like, the Kelpie is there, but you've also bought some of the colors from the Kelpie into the background. Um, I like your use of shapes, and, yeah, like, it, I think you've got some, like, seaweed coming up around the fin, and the back area here. So yeah, it looks like you were then one coming up the back. So you were kind of like experimenting with um, bringing your character into the background. And I love that you are, you know, pushing yourself to do backgrounds because I know that you've been doing a lot of characters and, and like your last one, it had like the fire like coming up into the character. And now you have like this like seaweed kind of wrapping around the character. And I love how you are trying to, you know, bring these backgrounds like to life with your characters. And yeah, I see that you're also doing shading, so good work on that. And yeah, I really, I really like this so far. And I saw your other submission too. I like the other one too. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> I wish I could have seen them both of them, commented on both, but they're both very lovely and beautiful. And uh, yeah, anything that you wanted to add, Rihanna's? Uh, of the mains, they really pop out. They make those, this, this kelpie. Um, and I like your color use. I like the color use in the background. They make this kelpie pop out. Uh, the cools. Uh, I don't know if you do it on purpose, but your cools and uh, warms, they really complement each other. I don't know if you have any... Uh, if you do it on purpose, but it, it really helps uh, it readable, the re readability. Uh, and how you go, go in with the reds. Uh, yeah, shading is, is coming out neatly. Uh, very abstract, very nicely done. Beautiful. Um, Evolution says the colors are awesome and how you still have Kelpie vis um, visible with all of them is really impressive. Um, Raven says very beautiful, love the colors, this is very well done. Um, Monk says Becky, I love the psychedelic colors of this, it reminds me of the 60s and 70s Wow Child um, album art. And uh, let's see, <laughs> good eye says. Easies. Um, oh my god, the red by the tail is so vivid. Great use of colors, says Blend. Uh, Raven says, yeah, I feel like, wait, Grateful Dead would be great for this. So like, Grateful Dead, the, uh, the album. Um, but Nin did help. So what did, what did he help with? That's what I, I need to know. Like, what did he help with? And, uh, Becky, feel free to, like, drop your links and stuff in the chat, too. I know you don't stream, but, like, your Insta or anything like that that you would like people to follow you with. Um, I also like the colors and simplistic features, says one. Yeah, like, I 
I do like how it felt. It feels like an abstract. Oh, Mom, thank you so much for gifting Becca, Becky. <laughs> All right, um, let me come back here. Everyone loves the colors. Everyone is complimenting you on the colors. Yeah, it's definitely in them colors. Oh, don't sell yourself short. Yeah, what was he helping with? I must know. Um, Punky said this is one of my favorite pieces of yours, Becky. I love the colors and shapes and how stylized and abstract it is. Fantastic work. Keep it up. Exactly. See? See? We like it. Just keep going. Keep going. We want to see more. Yes, please. Okay, and I'm gonna lurk and rest the rest of the stream not feeling well. Okay, Autumn. Oh no. Alright, have a good one. Okay, so the next one is actually spiders, and oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to this. Get ready for the jaws to drop. Spider, spider! You know how much I love skeletons, right? <laughs> and skulls. Oh my freaking gosh, I freaking love this spider. This is by far my favorite piece of yours. When you sent this, I like... <laughs> I love this waifu, this waifu. She, she's beautiful. Well, anyway, I'm gonna read what, what Spider says. Um, the title is The Black, and this is by Spider. We fall so that we may learn to pick ourselves up once again. Alas, you cannot learn a thing you think you know. Twisted and malice. Um, man manacle? Wait, oh no. <laughs> manacle, a haunting testament of the powers of runic chaos. The thing lurks in the depths. A notary, notary? Yeah, <laughs> maybe I should read these first. Um, notary, you're... Yurkeen? Your keen? Oh no. You, you love using these big terms. Spider's a very intelligent man. <laughs> um, a natary Yurkeen. I am saying that wrong, by the way. Those gaze processes, um, one's facilities. Poor Rich, he fell. Poor Richard, he fell. As the other bootstrappers and Irishmen before him, but not me. I am not so easy. Oh my gosh. So is this like she's trying to tempt you and she's gonna get you? I'm so spider. I'm so sorry, spider. <laughs> yeah, all of his all of his mythoses are <laughs> are waifus. And like he he puts these really beautiful, like I don't know, like inspiring <laughs> Things attached to his pieces, and I love them. But I like you use such big terminology that I don't know the meaning of them. <laughs> but anyway, the the shading on this spider, like you have some major contrast going on in this. Um, a lot of your pieces they feel very mono, um, and you don't have like depth contrast. But I see a lot in this, um, especially in her face, the lake water. Um, I like what you did with the leaves off to the edge and you framed it very, very nicely. You have this very nice frame here. Um, you even have like the tree coming up the side on the right. You've got the left, you've got the bushes kind of coming over onto the side of the lake. Just everything here is just so, so beautifully framed. Um, I, I'm just like, I go straight into looking at her face and I just can't stop staring at her face. It's just gorgeous. Um, the anatomy that you have here, it feels right. I like her little, like, horse haunches in the back. <laughs> like, she looks very humanoid. And then there's this, like, horse butt with a tail. <laughs> and then you have, like, some of this, like, you know, seaweed kind of, like, hanging on to the side of her, which just adds to that, like, eerie feeling. And I love what you did, and you added, like, her ears, and the, but you have the hair coming forward. So she's very humanoid, but very, like, animalistic. And by far my favorite piece of yours, by far. Um, I even like what you did with the rocks off to the side. 
beautiful atmosphere, beautiful peace. I love it. Rihanna, do you want to say anything? Oh, I'm done gushing. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> if you use pencil with a blender or if you use graphite. Uh, I uh, love the rocks. I love the depth uh, in uh, perspective. I love how you uh, like the grass in front is uh, and um, and the trees. Uh, is he uh, no. and uh, um, uh, and and. Also the uh, Tom, uh, uh, the uh, how do you call it? How she looks like it's really a sea with a horse head or skull. The skull is very beautifully done. I feel like if you zoom in on it, you will see cracks, though it is not visible. Uh, so you almost you can see some cracks in them. It's beautiful rendered. Um, yeah, I would like zoom in on them even if if yeah. I could. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece for sure. Um, and Punky says a temptress. I love this piece of your spider. It turned out so good. You were getting so much better with backgrounds. I love. <laughs> I agree, Punky. This, like I said, is one of my favorite pieces um, of your spider. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Um, spider says, I mixed my flair for narration in my description. You know what? I love it. I do. I do. I just wish that I could read it better. <laughs> I need somebody with, like, incredible reading. Incredible. And that's not me. <laughs> but we know this. We know this. Um, um, Monk says, I'm confused by this in terms of being attracted and scared of this creature. <laughs> agreed, I agreed, totally. Um, Blend says, oh my god, the background looks amazing and doesn't wash out the main subject. The seagrass on her back is a great touch too. I know, that's what I was saying, it's gorgeous. And that was Blend that said that. Uh, let's see. And <laughs> Jesus agrees with Monk on the attractive but <laughs> scary. <laughs> uh, Spider says Dark Shapeshifter of the Black Lagoon. Mechanical Pencil was the choice, um, Rihanna. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Maybe you could use uh, uh, graphite uh, in it. Uh, so if you have, if you can, if you want to, I mean, uh, you can try out just some graphite, uh, you can buy it, it's kind of cheap, uh, and you can blend it easy and, and it would make it so much easier. Yeah, and I actually don't like graphite. <laughs> I hate graphite, no. it goes everywhere, <laughs> like it doesn't wipe it on my face. It does. Yeah. Like, as a, as a walking around with graphite on my face all day. I hate graphite. I, I My choice is mechanical pencil. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, so it twitches their own. But, um, <laughs> let, let's see. Um, let's uh, finish um, reading some of these and then we'll switch. But narration is my thing. I know, Spider. I know it is. I love that you started doing that. I really do. And Felucia, I really love the shading here. Very nicely done. And the story with it is awesome. See? Felucia loves the narration too. Okay, so let's come back here. Spider, keep it up. I might not be able to read it very well, but I still enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so let me, let me move this down here. Mechanical pencil. I know! Like, with all the shading that he did, that's mechanical pencil. Alright. Let's see, I anyone else come work. in? <laughs> and uh, Becca says, Nin ad advised me of how to try values with different shades, and I, I see. Well, I'm glad that he's giving advice, but you are the one that pulled it off. <laughs> Repost? Oh my god, bro. This is dope as fuck. The horse skull is the on flick on fleek? What is on fleek? And your landscape is on point. A good 
ex execution of reduced details for items on a farther away from the centerpiece. Totally, Monk. Is that one that you said, or was that someone else said that? Because those words don't sound like they're yours. <laughs> maybe they are. Maybe I. Maybe I don't know. Okay, so. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at this next next one. This is Evolutions. Evolutions piece. So this one is Evolutions. And Evolution, you didn't have a title, so I think I, I left it as Evolution. Sorry about that. Um, I used my Julian to draw. I always love horses and used a and used to horseback ride a lot. So made him look like I would just ride ride him, no matter how deep he takes me. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> I love that, but that like that sounds crazy. Now I love that you've got this like very whimsical type horse here. Um, even like the background, it's it says whimsical. It almost seems like it's glowing. Um, but yeah, I like how you were adding the ripples of the water and the splashes on the feet. Not easy. Water is not easy. And I love that you you didn't shy away from doing that. Like you you still were going for it. Ice Blork! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the sub! Much love! Oh! Much love to you too! And, uh, welcome in. Welcome in. Um, but yeah, so Effalusia, like, just... I'm glad that you... that you... you took the leap. Water is so hard, and to get the reflections and everything, and I like how you have, like, the water as you get away from it. You don't have as much, like, rough and like tumbled water, like <laughs> turbulence water to use other people's words here. And uh, like, so it's so much smoother. And then as it like the horse is like running in it, you actually have that turbulent water. It was a good attention to like detail and to pull like your focus closer in. Um, I also, yeah, I just overall, I enjoy the piece and I'm glad that you went with, like, because you usually do the hairs, like, right, you do, like, the fur, and this one does feel a lot more slick compared to your other work. So, I'm really enjoying this. I, I hope that to see more, this is your second entry? I, I really look forward to seeing more. And, uh, anything that you wanted to add, Rihanna? Yeah, I, uh, what program do you use? And, um... Uh, I think there is like she's using a lot of overlays. Uh, it's just beautifully rendered. Um, just beautiful use of colors. Uh, also, the autonomy of the horse it's very well done. I am so that is where I'm looking for if I look at the horse. Um, I my parents breed ho used to breed horses, so I'm very into uh, uh, the uh, autonomy. Uh, anatomy. That's yeah, anatomy. You got the, it. <laughs> uh, an an of horses, and she actually got that one nailed, pretty much nailed here. Yeah, pretty much nailed here. Uh, uh, when keeping up the foreshortening, so the chest is very well done. Uh, so oh. the muscles of the chest are f and the head is very, very nicely done. Yeah, so um, we agree that the anatomy, yes, <laughs> you did great. Uh, let's, let's move to um, what chat says. Um, Monk says, when I first saw this, the thing that I was blown away with was how well the anatomy came out. I get that you use a reference, I use references too, and I know from personal experience how difficult it can be to still use a reference. So your anatomy with animals always impresses me. Also I, um, also I always have a soft spot in my heart for semi-monochromatic uh, blue palettes. 
Nice. And uh, one says, another interesting composition. And it does kind of have a glow effect. I know, like, I, I was seeing that. I, w I wonder if that was on purpose um, at Felicia. Um, Exo says, <laughs> let me see. Um, made in Photoshop elements um, yeah. was the answer on that. And Ice Flurk says, nailed it. And uh, Jelly says, you show the muscle structure very well, Evolusha. It's very awesome. Yeah, so it sounds like every everyone's uh, gushing over the anatomy. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go ahead and come back here. Hi, Exo. Welcome in. Yeah, sorry, I don't say hi until um, we're not looking at someone's piece. Um, but yeah, guys, go and check out Evolusha. Evolusha is a streamer. She does a lot of animal type, like, portrait arts and things like that. I really love that you're doing the monthly myths with us, though, because, like, I feel like you're doing more fantasy-based stuff, and, and I get excited about it. So, they kind of, like, bringing some of those, like, animal edges in. So, I'm... I'm excited to see more of your pieces, Evolusha. I hope you, you keep up with it, because I really do enjoy them. And uh, yeah, sorry about the uh, <laughs> my, my email. I, it actually kicked a lot of people out. I don't know what's going on. Um, mainly the people I looked at to check to see if they were there first. Salutations. Yes, hello. Yeah, and her streams are awesome, and she is charming. Yes, go check out Evolution, guys. Alright, so let's get to the next piece. Uh, the next piece is actually Creative Jenny's. So I think that I said hi to everyone. Yes, 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 yes. Said hi to everyone. Um, and hi, Ice Blurk. I don't know if I said hi. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, and hello. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move to this one. Okay, so this one is I'm Creative Jenny's. Just a few years and then I'm going to wake up to my shop real quick. Okay, just no problem. A few year. Um, if you want to just uh, turn off your camera and then when you get back you yeah, can turn I it back will. on, that's fine. Oh yeah, that one is beautiful. That is just so beautiful. I'm back in a second. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys. Um, well, yeah, so this is Creative Jenny's, and uh, Creative Jenny says, um, the title is Kelpie. A Kelpie wandering the night for the next weary traveler. I went with a gray, a black slash gray and green color. Yeah, so, like, I really like the monochromatics that you went with here. Um, I also like that you put, like, the green that was, like, on the, like, on the side here, like, in the actual hair of the kelpie, you know, like kind of like adds like it's like part of this environment. Um, I do like the monochromatics with slight colors. Like I, um, I used to draw a lot of things like uh, gray tones and then just add like splashes of color. And that kind of reminds me of that. So it's almost nostalgic for me personally. I really, really love this. I really love that about it. Um, I also see like, I think you put some, uh, did you put rains on its face? I just noticed that. So are there rains on there or is it, um, does it not have rains? And I'm just crazy. But yeah, I, I really like how you did like the ripples in the water too, to show like it's in the water. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I like the starry skies too. Thank you so much for submitting these. Um, I, I do like seeing yours every month as well, Creative Jenny. Because I do see that you are growing every time as well. And I just love that. Like, I think your first submission um, was the hydron. Um, and just from the hydron to this, like, I, I'm seeing a lot of growth. And it's really exciting. So, yes, keep it up. And let's let's move to see what uh, what chat says. I did nice. <laughs> um, Hezu says this does make me kind of sad. If that's the intention, well done. Yeah, it does feel very sad. You are right. It does have that like tone, like with the colors and like the way it like is hanging its head. It is so true. Um. 
Uh, Jelly says totally has a seaweed main feeling, very calm and exquisite feeling. Uh, Blend says I love that the main looks like seagrass. It's a very nice touch. I know, right? Uh, Monk says my favorite part of, for me is that the emotion is clear for me. Lost and sad is what I feel. Correct me if I'm wrong. I love the piece that the emotions are clear. So that's two people now that think, you know, sad is your your message and and I agree. I totally agree with that. Um, I really like the glow it has on him from the water, says Evolucio. Oh yeah, that is so true. You've got some uh, highlights on there. Nice. I didn't see that. That was good. That's a good call. Um, and Punky says, Jenny, this is so cool. I love the blue-green added to most of the monochromatic piece. And I love how much motion you've put into the pose and into the ripples of the water. Great job. And Raven says, I would imagine this on the cover of children's book. I truly love it. It's dark yet relaxing. <laughs> All right, guys, and go and check out Creative Jenny. Creative Jenny does stream. Uh, she also does writing and she does art on her stream. So definitely go and check her out. And so we'll come back here. Yeah, thank you so much for submitting. You're I back. Love the yeah, yeah, I'm back. Okay, I'm you can turn your camera back on. You're still I off. Am Mm. Uh, my camera is on for a while. There it is. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you say it's on and then it like turns on and I'm like, what? <laughs> it wasn't on. Alright. Um, but did, is there anything you wanted to say about Jenny's? Do you want me to go back to it? No, no. Yeah, I w want to say that I love... Well, I love the, from the last piece that uh, there was so much autonomy. Uh, I, the difficult word <laughs> that is the <laughs> the sad <laughs> the, 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 that there was no that it was this was not a horse like that the horse like creature here was less horse like it is really a kelpie it's more monstrously yeah, and, and welcome back, by the way, too. Um, thank you, Monk. Uh, thank you, Monk. <laughs> thank you, Raven. Thank you. Okay, so um, let me see what a few of these things were said. Say, hmm, I would ask you, but I think this one is for dead. Where would the best place to ask dead for convenience? What, what are you asking me? Go ahead and ask me now. Um, when we're in inter intermission, that's fine. Uh, let's see, you did say hi, Dad. I do have a question, a professional slash casual kind of thing, um, if that makes sense. Uh, yes, uh, DM me on Discord. That is the best place, and if you're not in my Discord, because I believe that we have to be sharing a server, um, if you join my Discord, that um, that's a good way to get a hold of me. Just DM me. Okay, you we ready? We ready, ready, ready? Yeah, the, the camera does have voice commands, though. I was laughing at that. Her camera is self-aware. <laughs> okay. So this next piece is by Zuni. I freaking love this piece. You ready? You ready? Yeah, yay, yay. <laughs> okay, so this one is titled, She Who Hides in the Abyss. She wanders the waters, listening to the voices of the deep, waiting for a chance to strike at her next victim. I used Paint Tool Sai for this piece. I spent a total of nine hours on this starting from sketch to finish. I may go back and add some things to this image later on. I'm unsure yet, but I was very happy to work with this. You know what? I freaking love this. I have seen some of your My Little Pony stuff in the past, but by far this is my absolute favorite of yours so far, Zuni. Um, the emotion, just like when you look at her face, the way that you've done the hair, like you, you pulled it on one direction and then you pulled one back over her ear. There's just so much emotion in that. Um, the way you have her hands placed, like you have like one slightly up and cocked up and it, it just like it adds this eerie, beautiful, beautifulness to it. 
Um, I also like how like you s you like have like almost like the rib cage in there, and then you kind of like bring the tail in. Um, honestly, I would have drawn that differently, but I'm so glad you drew it this way because it is gorgeous, and I never would have done it that way. And that's why I love it so much is because I would have overthought this piece, and you did it. You executed it so beautifully, and you know something like this inspires me. The way that you have like that smooth transition from like the back part of her to like you know <laughs> to the tail it's it's beautiful um i also love the uh texture that you added on top of her i uh, you know when you first i think when you first showed this like you didn't have the texture on there i love that you added that i also like how um you said it's an abyss you know you've got it very dark on one side and then you have like the light shining from the left side so absolutely gorgeous love the way you painted the fins like the lighting on here like you have like the lighting like coming over the top of her tail in spots you know from the shine from the left bean knock it off <laughs> stop it this is not the time she's talking to you guys um that was that's bean type um well anyway uh <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Rihanna, do you want to take this? Bean is interrupting I... me. <laughs> I have my son here just uh, looking over from what is going on. <laughs> I love I love the eye. I uh, I love how sh how you rendered the eye. I love the my little pony feel of it. Bean, stop typing. I love <laughs> And I love how the, uh, uh, and then directly the Kelpie. So it is the head of My Little Pony, but then you go in and it's so much darker. You directly know, no, it's not a My Little Pony. It is a monster. Uh, I love the shades. The shading is so well, well done. Uh, the line art is also very well done. Very clean lines. Yeah, overall a very good piece. Also the, the lights on the background. It really gives a watery look. Nice piece. Very nice piece. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a gorgeous piece. I'm sorry that, <laughs> that Bean was being so disruptive. Um, let's, let's see what Chad had to say. Uh, Zuni, uh, says, I was mad at you, but not really mad, um, when you shared this with me. Oh, because she, she broke it to you? You got to see it early? Um, this My Little Pony Kelpie could be a series all on its own. My favorite part is such small part of it, and it's almost completely blank eyed ball. Yeah, the, the eye, how it's, yeah. I love the glow in the eye. It makes this creature so spooky. Um, I would be it would be difficult for me to know if this creature is friendly or harmful, and the mystery is perfection for me. Exactly. Like I love this creature. I would probably try to befund it and they would probably drown me. <laughs> that, yes. Which is yeah. what the Kelbies are about, right? It's true. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if anyone else said anything else. It would totally get all the children in the water. Yeah. yeah. All the children will come in with them, swim with them. Oh, there we go. And all the intestines will float up the water. Ew. <laughs> Don't, Rihanna. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> all the intestines. I have read so much about... <laughs> I have been reading up on this. I always, I like uh, reading up on all the myth. And then I I am really getting, and uh, suddenly the old, like the old fashioned stuff, like the real myth, not <laughs> just the myth that are now uh, the modern tales, but the real myth. And the, uh, no, she's she's okay. Yeah. She's at the top of my cricket now and, and messing with my lights. She she'll probably <laughs> knock a few over. She's being a jerk. No, it's okay. She's gonna learn. I'm not gonna give her the teas. Getting low. 
Okay, so, uh, hi Fox. How's it going, Fox? Uh, it looks really good, even though the, in yeah, the entire drawing. I know, I love it, right? Anything else you want to say, Bean? <laughs> the background of the water, that is so much nicely rendered. Yeah, it definitely was. Um, okay, so let, well, I guess let's move to the next piece. Um, I hate this when this happens in this part of the stream. Um, it's mine. So... Let me I love fix when this happens there. in your stream Brain because it's decided to destroy my set. <laughs> it takes um, I should have said it looked good though, the entire drawing process, not just the drawing. Yeah, it was beautiful, Zuni. Thank you so much for submitting. Um, I'm I'm so excited that we get to see where you're my little ponies in action. Um, Monk, thank you so much for gifting a sub to one. You don't have to do that. Stop it. <laughs> ah, Monk. Thank you for gifting one to Zuni as well. You are too kind, Monk. You don't have to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, anyway, now I'm gonna go look at mine and be all in first. Okay, so this one's my piece. Um, and I wrote Outsider. Wow, what? I, wrote, I just wrote this today, and I can't believe it. I didn't realize I made the title Outsider. Well, anyway, title is Outsider. Um, when I was reading about the Kelpie, I found a very relatable tone in this story. A creature that is alone in a lake. And while it might appear to look human, it cannot fully pass off as one due to its hooves. I wanted to create a piece about feeling like not fitting in, thinking that everyone might see your hooves. These things that you dislike about yourself and you might think others see. So that's why I'm defining the hooves as like your flaws that you think just people can just see. Um, trying to love and accept yourself so that you can feel more than, um, sorry, try to, ex <laughs> try to, sorry, trying to love and accept yourself so that you can feel more than loneliness and the sense of being trapped by what you are inside. Acceptance as the key so that you can find others that are okay with those hooves slash flaws and grow into love and light. So basically, find those people that accept your hooves. <laughs> Find those people that are out there. That that's my message with this piece. Um, you can't see the hooves on the. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see the hooves. They are not on the screen, which makes me sad. But yeah, they're there. Um, I'm gonna let you I, take this round, is because I can't say anything about mine. <laughs> I love the process with the bubbles. I was there for the process with the bubbles, and it did go to wrong it the first time. Try. Uh, it was very nice to watch. Uh, also, you struggle sometimes and just experiment, and then it goes wrong, and then it works, and then it goes wrong, and then it works. <laughs> it was very fun to watch. I really like the concept. Uh, it's not so much about Kelpie uh, as it could be any myth or it could be any thing and it's still it's just a beautiful piece uh, I would hang it on the wall it's just a beautiful watercolored and certainly colored piece I love the colors I love uh, the warm colors the pastel colors um, how did you? I don't know if it is uh, how, if it is uh, scanned in uh, like it is actually is or yeah, it's scanned in. Uh, I did scan it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is it also did you like like how it's scanned in or is it? Uh, uh, I did lose so a lot better. of detail. Honestly, it did lose a lot. Yeah. And I am, I'm sad about that, but there's not much I can do about it. I've scanned it a million times. It lost a lot of yeah. detail in the face and the original and, and things like that, that like were light, but for some reason the scanner didn't pick it up. So yeah, there, yeah, it lost a lot of detail in the scan, unfortunately. I feel like 
feel that. I feel that uh, because I saw you work on it, mm -hmm. and I feel, I feel that I lost a lot of detail. But the real piece, yeah, it's so much better. It's. I wanted to say that the real piece is so much better as what you see now on screen. Oh, thank you. I think I'll. I mean, I think I'm gonna read chat. This is gonna be awkward. I don't usually do this, but I don't want to make you do it, Rihanna. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, Punky says, but dead, this is gorgeous. I love that she looks lonely, yet somehow at peace. The cool tone skin fits in so well with with um with this without completely blending in. She stands out perfectly against the super detailed backgrounds. You are amazing. I love your hooves, you butts. Oh, thank you for loving my hooves. <laughs> Pastel says this piece really um, resonated with me, Dad. Thank you. Um, Jelly says it's truly beautiful. Um, sorry, let me. The thing went. <laughs> um, and Hezu says it's beautiful and very unique. Uh, great job on the bubbles technique. I know. I wanted to like. I didn't want to throw the towel in. I was so close, but I was like, no, I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with you me did while I tried. Uh, yeah, I did eventually. <laughs> you did eventually really make it work. This is all watercolor, Becky. Um, entirely watercolor. Um, the bubbles were made with a like a soap and, and watercolor mixture. Um, Blend says, "Dead." I was so happy to be a part of watching you bring this piece to life. Um, the eye in the top left is amazing. I love the abstract coloring of the kelpie and the light swirls on the girl. Love your hooves, Dad. Aw, thank you. <laughs> you guys loving my hooves. <laughs> uh, Dad, I absolutely love this piece. The process of the bubbles were such an awesome thing to witness. I have told you how much I love everything about this piece. I love your digital work, but your digital art will always be loved by me so much more. Um, the emotion is always so raw with a no turning back tone imprinted on it. Oh my gosh, totally. <laughs> I get it. Um, I would say so I would this in a heartbeat. You would what? <laughs> There's a word missing there. Um, lastly, it's insane um, how every single possible emotion is available in this piece. Such a roller coaster of human hearts. Aww. Thank you for saying that. I love how this person, how this piece turned out. Thank you so much, Shelly. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna read all your comments. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and read some more. I think I missed some. Um, this is beautiful, and I'm so happy that I was able to see how you created it. So you always add so much feeling with the pieces that you make, besides perfect details you make. On yeah, it says I really like, um, and I am the. I am the Kelpie point of view compared to how most of us have looked at the Kelpie from the outside. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Oh my gosh, guys. You would buy it a heartbeat. I thought that's what you were saying. <laughs> it's the only word that works, but I wanted to give you shit. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's come back here. Now that I'm blushing with all of the <laughs> amazing comments. Thank you guys. Okay, so the next I piece. I really loved your hooves. Oh, <laughs> I just read all the things, and everyone is saying I love your hooves. Aww. Well, then, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, the next piece is um, accept our love. <laughs> It's adorable seeing how much Dead struggles to read compliments on her art. Why am I making yeah. faces? <laughs> I feel odd. Like, normally I- yeah. Well, anyway, the next piece is Doc's. Um, are you guys ready for Doc's? <laughs> Doc always yes, have, has- yes, yes, yes. Has the silliness. Okay, so let's- let's go to the silliness, shall we? It's just some words that I can't pronounce. <laughs> it's, it's not that I don't understand English. It's... Yeah, and that's why I didn't want to force you to do it. Like, it's totally yeah. cool. 
um, you know, English is not her first language, um, so I didn't want to force her to read all of that. <laughs> um, okay, so this is Docs, and uh, it says Water Horse. That was the title. He didn't put anything else, but Doc, he just removed its feet. <laughs> It, it looks like it's in pain. <laughs> oh, Doc. Oh, Doc. <laughs> Not an Amit, yeah. We're doing this again. Um, yes, but I like that you changed the colors to more water. Um, I like that you removed the legs. I thought that this was really pay a playful piece. And, you know, I really do look forward to these. And... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but well, yeah. For anyone who doesn't know what's going on in here, uh, Doc has been doing this uh, uh, this piece every time uh, and just changed a little bit to make it a different uh, into a different myth. Yeah. And it's uh, kind of so. Yeah. He's kind so of our ongoing really jokester. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but every time he actually makes it work somehow. He does. He does. He makes it work it's, somehow. So, yeah. So it again, it really works. <laughs> okay. So let's let's read some of these comments here. Um, and see, the picture is how I feel. Says Fox. What? <laughs> um, Puggy says. Laugh my ass off. Doc always gets me with these, with his entries. <laughs> he webbed the fingers dead. Oh my gosh, he did! He did! Those are water fingers. <laughs> he did! Nice catch, Twunky. Let's see. But he left the wings. He left the wings. <laughs> yeah, I it says. Remove the wings. <laughs> I thought so too, but um, yeah, it says it feels like a Pokemon. Don't you dare let Doc hear that. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tell you exactly which Pokemon it's not supposed to be. <laughs> Let's see, and it's blue. Yeah, web fingers and it's blue, and it's got removed feet. It's like the Easter egg. Yeah, he is the troll of the monthly myths. And uh, Punky says, Doc, I love your entries. They make my day. They always make my day. All right. I have tears in my eye. I love this so much, says Punky. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, let's uh, let's come back here. Thank you so much, Doc, for submitting. I hope you submit again. All right, so hi, Bam. Welcome in. We are doing a the monthly myth reveal where we look at entries and stuff like that. Um, okay, so hi, the next Bamf. one is Autumn's. Yeah. And how are you, Bam? The master of name changes. You, that's a whole new account. That isn't a name change. That's a, that's a whole new account. Uh, let's see. Tune. Yeah, it's been a while, Bamf. Yeah, guys, go and check out Bamf. Um, Bamf is an art streamer. All right, so let's let's go ahead and uh, pull up this next one. This one is Autumn's, and I don't believe that there is any sound. Um, so we'll just watch the actual video um, with the sound off. But yeah, let's let's go into it. Uh, yeah, so Autumn, um, Autumn says, Kelpie title, um, I did a digital arts piece for this month, um, at first, but decided to do something different because I wanted to do something with my hands. Um, I decided to do the Scandinavian version of the Kelpie, which is the Frozen 2's Water Spirit, um, very similar stories. So, yeah, so you see, she is like purchased like a um a horse um spirit i believe was the horse and now she's painting it and i thought this was kind of a cool you know way to yeah to get your hands like 
and <laughs> get your hands dirty, so to speak. I really love that you decided to do this, Autumn. And I love all the different things that you did and techniques, and, and you made a diorama, which were, were, that's freaking awesome. So, I'm actually watching the wrong video, and I was like, wait, I'm, I'm ahead of everyone. <laughs> you guys aren't seeing the diorama yet. I, it was so, it was so much fun. I saw it in, in Discord, what she was doing and what she was buying. Uh, what is she using in paint? What are you using in paint, Atom? Uh, you might be sleeping because you were... I know she said well. she wasn't feeling well. Um, I'm yeah, fast exactly. forwarding a little bit, guys, just because um, it is five minutes long. And I try to keep the submission times playing around about two minutes. But yeah, so this is her making the diorama. And I'm glad that I didn't see you using that blade. Oh my gosh, you touched it with your hand. <laughs> Autumn knows that I hate the knives. <laughs> okay, oh. let's see. So now she's painting it. That is so beautiful. Making some seaweed. Oh, that's coral. Okay, it's coral. Coral in Scotland. Okay. Oh, and here we are. Here's the reveal. Oh my gosh, I love that you added that light in there. It turned out gorgeous. I really like how you've got oh. like that water effect in there for sure. I love that you went diorama with it. That, that's not something I've seen you do. And I'm really excited that you're experimenting and trying new things. Thank you for the raid, Outlaw. Oh, no. Swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome. Thank you, thank I you for that you're raid. I hope you better soon, Autumn. You have done beautifully. It is so different as you usually do. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna add things, yeah, and then we'll move to chat too. It's so much, yeah, it's so much dif different as you usually do, um, uh, which I like. Uh, experimenting. I, uh, and yeah, move to chat, I guess. Thank you for that sub, reanimator. Yeah, um, is it okay if I move to chat, or yeah, I feel yes, like I interrupted please, you, please. I'm so sorry. No, 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 please go chat. Okay, um, Monk says, I always say this about your monthly myth submissions, and I will say it again. The end product of this piece shows happiness, and it means so much to me. And I know it means a lot to Dead to know that, yeah, <laughs> to Dead, and uh, to know and see that passion and happiness is caused by the monthly myth. Um, there were so many things going on here. Thank you, Autumn, for sharing your happiness with us. Yeah, totally. And I love that you did more than one piece. Like you said, you did a digital. I saw your digital and then you decided to do something with your hands. And I know that you've been, you know, sometimes when we work with our hands and we do something different um, and we, we go into learning mode, you know, it helps more than just learn and art. You know, it, it teaches us to do more in our life. and. I'm glad that you took the challenge on, on learning something new and doing something new because it, it inspires us in our lives to do more in other places. And I really hope that you are able to watch this VOD or, you know, that you're able to hear this, Autumn. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you because when you, when you push yourself into a learning mode, it doesn't just happen in your art. It happens in other facets of your life. And I want to see more. Like I want to. I want to see more of the autumn that you know wants to experiment and learn, and it's incredible just in that alone. So thank you so much for making this piece. It means a lot, and I love seeing my friends grow. So thank you for growing. 
Um, and uh, let me <laughs> let me uh, read uh, some of the things that other people have said. Um, Blend says it looks so great, Autumn. The light really brings everything together. Exactly. Um, Stovepipe says um, this turned out great. Let's see. Um, Jelly says this looks epic. Uh, Raven says, damn, that's a nice glow and shine. <laughs> and uh, Punky says, um, Autumn lives dangerously like me. I love that. She's got super creative with this one and did something completely new. The light is a perfect touch. Right. And that's that trying something new that is inspiring and awe inspiring. Let's, uh, let's come it, back here. It is shame that she's not here because I would love to know how she uh, did did it, if, if she ran some batteries or... Uh, oh, the lighting? The lighting, yeah. Oh, she's right here. Oh, oh she is. I heard everything, oh, thank you. you. Oh, oh I love your piece. I really love it. How did you do the electric tea? No, it's okay, Monk. Go ahead. If if you feel the 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 novel, then do the novel. <laughs> do what you feel. I love reading it. I've been lurking. Well, yeah. I hope you're feeling better too. Okay, yeah. so let's go ahead and uh, see what the next piece is. Oh, the next piece is Jesus's, um, and I believe there is music on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the music so we can listen to the music so again the first playthrough uh me and rihanna are gonna be very quiet be very 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 quiet and <laughs> sorry that was a bugs bunny reference um i i apologize okay let's do this <laughs> And Jesus does his own music, so we're listening to the music as well. Nice. Okay, let's play it again. Alright, so, um, Hizu says, uh, Kelpie Kamira. Oh, Kelpie... Am I saying that right? Kamira. It's spelled different than Kamira, though. Apparently, I like Kamiras. I was originally going to make a horse that looked like it was made of water. Then I thought of combining features from the aquatic creatures and... There you have, you have it. Horse head, crab legs, seaweed spine, eerie eel tail, and literally crown making makeup in reference to the clownfish. I use Sculpty and um, skewers to attach the the crusta the crustacean type legs. I tried to make the seafloor look like. Um, Light was shining through the ripples of the surface and the figures. I dress this piece up with various sea plants and creatures. Uh, lacking a decent um, bagpipe sound, I decided to go with a more ambient track this time. Thanks again for the fun challenge. You know, Jesus, like one thing that I, I noticed right away is that you are starting to kind of like mess with the effects on the camera. And uh, I know that you don't, like, I I say this, but I'm not exactly entirely sure. Um, but I, I almost feel like your, like your video editing and things like that is um, almost like, um, <laughs> not 
something like that you see as your submission, am I right? Like, it's mainly the music and the, you know, the sculpture that's mainly highlighted. Um, but I'm seeing so much progress in your video editing. Um, you know, we saw that like in your storytelling and things like that in your editing, but now you're using effects and I'm like, oh my gosh. And uh, you're trying to like get like a certain kind of emotion with some of these camera angles and like the slow tone and like the ambient music. Um, you're trying to get that like water type feel, um, like you're submerged in water. Um, which it definitely feels that way, like you're like in the water and your eyes are just like blurry and like if you were to see this creature you would be like what the heck is that thing? Um, I love that you put in the description like the different parts of all the sea creatures. Um, I like that you went more like creative with it and yeah like it's fun just to have like a piece where you just do something that's just off the wall because it, it's so much less stressful. And it's fun just to mess around, and I love the <laughs> the colors that you have here. Um, I actually love that you went easy on yourself this time as well. I mean, it's a complicated piece, um, but I'm also glad to see that you took a little like <laughs> a little. Um, you you didn't go as like because you've been going like full like graveyards and just doing these elaborate pieces and I'm so glad that you went easy on yourself this time around. Um, I, I'm still very much enjoying this and I love it. So I'm gonna let Rihanna take over. I uh, really love the music. It really feels watery, if that it makes sense. Um, uh, yeah, I was really uh, listening to this, this music is really uh, what I like and I really wanted to point it out. Um, like I said, I was, I'm was i always really reading up on the myth itself. And we are all went for the uh, horse uh, part of the Kelpie uh, myth. But actually it is not only horse, horse parts. It is also uh, like the monster of Lagnes is also a Kelpie, and this really feels like uh, that part of uh, the Kelpie. So it actually makes also sense uh, in that part of uh, of, the, of the monster. So it is a Kelpie. Only not in the horse, horsey part. It is like in the monster part of those tales. So the kelpie was is uh, are very. There are very. There are like a thousand kelpie tales. They are all Celtics. Uh, not just Scottish, but all over. There are Irish kelpies as well. And they are all, all different types of kelpies, and they all look different, uh, like the monster of Loch Ness. And this is way more a uh, monster of Loch Ness type. Great, beautiful done. All right, so let, let's move to chat and see what some people have to say in chat. Um, Monk says, I have so much more than a novel um, that I want to write for this. I was so hyped to see your sculpting tools that you bought. This sculpt was so detailed and I wish I could see all of the awesome items on the platform. Also the ambient music, um, even though it is short. Sorry, go back up here. And <laughs> the chat moved away from me, I'm sorry. Um, even though it's short, it, it, it would loop perfectly for hours for meditation. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your multitude medium gift that you have bestowed upon my vision orbs. <laughs> um, it looks like a lobster horse. It is! It is a lobster horse, and so to speak. Crab legs. Crab legs. Crustacean. Uh, let's see. Jelly says, great job Zeus on the sculpt and everything. So cool. And uh, one says, this is very cool and impressive. Again, great respect on the handcraft. 
and the video editing and music, of course. <laughs> and the filters are free, you gotta use them. <laughs> Hey, but you're you're experimenting with them and that's what matters and that's what that's why I was pointing it out like you are just sculpting you aren't just doing music you're also learning video editing which is a new animal in itself and I love that you're doing that like you are you are doing so much during these so much don't sell yourself short um love the music especially I thought I saw carrots at first truth be um, but this awesome piece, Zeus, so calming and feels like a great music video creature and song. Okay, and then uh, Evolution says, It looks awesome. The combination of all of the animals is very original. I really like how you show the whole thing. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and pause this. I'll turn the music back on. We'll come back over here. There we go. And yeah, and welcome in, um, is that Glo- uh, Gluno? Is that how I say your name? Welcome in. <laughs> um, this is actually a, a Scottish, I believe, Scottish mythology. Um, the Kelpie, I believe, is Scottish, isn't it? I'm Scottish. It is Celtic. Mm. It is not, it's not just Scottish. Celtic, okay. We, we went for the Scottish part of it. So the one you uh, read when you said it, it was the Scottish part of it. So the horse part is uh, what they do in Scotland. But uh, it is way bigger as just the Scot Scottish part. Right, I think that was the um, what I pulled or something like that from the Wikipedia was it was the Scottish Kelpie. There might be more than one Kelpie like in the actual um, yeah, when we pull the myths. So we might get Kelpie again from another region. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think they're I think we pulled the Scottish one. But you're right, they are very similar. They're all very similar. Um Oh Always, thank you for the cha for this challenge. Jesus, thank you for saying that. Like it just it means so much to me that you put so much heart and soul into your submissions. It means so much to me. You have no idea. I'm like, I, I just, I'm honored. I'm so honored that, that you do that. And you're an incredible person and that you would spend that much time and be a part of this community means so much. And, and to be my mod on top of that. You're amazing, Jesus. You're amazing. Jesus works a whole month on this, doesn't he? <laughs> At times he does. He does a lot of mask yeah. work too. Um, it. Yeah, exactly. Raven says, uh, yeah, Zeus, you're doing a lot of shit. Keep up the work. I love the music you do and the backgrounds you make and the centerpiece that makes the stage. Right. He does a lot. Exactly. All right. So um, let me see. I think we said everyone. Yeah, I love how much fun you had with it. Yes, yes. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's go to the next one. The next one is Aquas. You guys ready for Aquas? Okay, so this one is titled Seahorse Kelpie. I found out that the Kelpie is half fish, half horse. That can lure children into the water and tends to drown them, which is crazy. But I decided to go with a seahorse face, horse legs, and a fish tail. Uh, sorry, a fish tail with seaweed fins. I decided to go with um, swampy colors for our kelpie for outlining the. Uh, you outlined in micron pins, colored in watercolor, um, down India India inks for the watercolor feel. Watered down, sorry, watered down India inks. So, um, one thing that I really liked about this piece that you have is the seaweed, like, all over <laughs> the tail. Um, honestly, I was watching, um, Fantastic Beasts the other day, and, uh, I think it was two, and he rode a kelpie, and it, and it was just full of seaweed. So, this concept totally reminds me of that seaweed kelpie from that show. 
and oh, I absolutely better. love this. Like it, it does. It feels like a a uh, seahorse with like the the actual legs of a horse, and I love its face. Like its little attitude. It's got its eye kind of like turned up. Like it's kind of irritated, <laughs> and I don't know why. I'm loving that expression, but I just um. And the way that you use the like India inks and stuff like that to have that watercolor effect, it does. It looks like watercolor. I love what you did with the background, like the bubbly type look with the blues. Um, I love like the the hard edge around some of your colors, like uh, around the cheek and stuff. I don't know what it is about watercolors, but I love those hard crisp edges from when it starts to dry. Um, that's why I love watercolors, so I'm seeing a lot of those elements that I just love in watercolor in this piece. Um, so just overall, great, great work. Um, I like how you did the hooves in a different color and the belly as well. Added a lot of contrast to that. Um, I also like how you added a little bit of purples like in the water too to kind of like pull your eye around. I think that was a really good choice instead of just staying that monochromatic. Um, and it also accents those greens very well. Um, anything that you wanted to add, Rihanna? Warms and cools when you go to a call. Uh, so the, the green upon the uh, pinks, but it stays in the pastel. So that means that it is all in the same range. So you don't go... Like when we went for the, um, uh, I don't know who's, uh, spiders, uh, it was uh, really like, or either bright red or bright blue, and here you go for the pinks and the uh, greenish, and it works just the same way, it is so beautiful. The colors they work so beautiful together uh, I love the shading I love really love the shading I uh, the concept and and the composition uh, how you make this water holes go around so it pulls you around and you use your whole paper and you keep looking and you keep seeing all these different things and it does make you look at the eye, it does make you look at the tail, it does make you look at the hooves. Beautiful done, beautiful done. Alright, so let's move to chat and see what people have to say. Um, Juan says, very cool and appealing illustration. The colors blend well and along with the style, it also gives it certain ancient mythology feeling to it. I agree. Very well said. Um, Raven says, I'd buy prints for this piece. I love it. I love it when you guys say that to each other. It means a lot. <laughs> I don't um, Jelly says, the watercolor background goes so well with this. I really like all of the leafy mane and sinister expression. I know, it's that expression. Evolucia says, I love how you made the seaweed. Um, you make it perfectly. Um, the watercolor effect is awesome. Um, Monk says, but on a serious note, um, this one is my favorite piece of yours that you have made. The part that I love most about this creature is that it is believable as something that I would actually stumble upon in nature. Um, I, I be, what, hypnotized to watch this innocent, harmless, version of the kelpie just wander in its natural habitat. I want to rescue this kelpie because I feel like it is laying on the shore out of the water. <laughs> you feel like it's dying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that why its eyes like that? <laughs> it's got that look because it's... See, you turn this dark. <laughs> you turn this dark. But guys, yeah, go and check out Aqua. Aqua is a art streamer and let's see did we miss anything else the main looks so much more like yeah so much like sea kelp yeah uh punky says this kelpie is saying try me bitch <laughs> totally totally 
Izzy says those eyes have me worried. Love the combination of creature features and circular flow works well. I know everyone's like this expression though. This expression. <laughs> it's gonna kick someone's you, ass. <laughs> so when you touch a kelpie, you got stuck to it. So the skin is sticky and you get stuck to it. And you can like almost feel like the skin like yeah if you touch it you will stay stuck to it it seems as though you read the mythologies very thoroughly and now i feel like i don't enough <laughs> okay so let's, let's let's go back um to this part right here and uh say hi to the new people that have come in uh, let's see, there was somebody that came in that I want to say hi to. Hi, Unpredictable Artist. How are you? Welcome in. And uh, let's uh, move to the next one. Ah, oh, the next one is Blends. I was excited to see that you were able to submit after all. I was worried that you were going to. Okay, so yeah, this one is Blends. And Blends says, Kelpie of the Night. My dad passed down his old set of soft pastels and decided to give them a go. Nice. Um, what's, what does that say? I don't know how to say that one. Grumbacher? Grumbacher. Grumbacher. I think I'm saying that right. Soft pastels, gold acrylic ink, and white um, Pasca pens. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to say these <laughs> these brands. I should know this. I'm an artist, right? Um, there was a lot more I originally wanted to do with this piece, but trying to blend the pastels and even try mixed medias was rough. Falling into an art block halfway through, this didn't help either. Um, my second entry in the monthly myth challenge, and I can't tell you how much I've learned so far. Oh my gosh, I love that you said that. Yeah, that's what like this is all about. So thank you so much for saying that. Like, yeah, it's all about learning. We're supposed to just have like a stress free, like experimenting, playing with, you know, I tried to do bubbles. You, you're you using soft pastels, <laughs> you know, it. It's exciting, and thank you so much for this beautiful piece. Um, I really like, I really liked your original sketch, and I like this piece as well. Like, I like them both for different reasons. Um, this, I really, I really like what you did with the silhouette here, and then you added like it, it was like a very like, um, what is that called when you have like that frame around? I don't remember what it's called. I can't remember. Well, anyway, <laughs> I love that you added the moon and there's like a mountain in the back now. Um, I also like how you have the rock off to the left. You didn't have to add that, but you did and it worked because you have this flow with your eye. You go to the moon, to the mountain, to the sweep of the tail, to the rock. So you have like this, like it brings it all the way through. And uh, yeah, I, I'm... I'm I've never used, I, I, okay, I say I never. I have used soft pastels in the past. They are not an easy medium to use. And I am love that you, you are going at it. Cause I know that like the few times that I have used it, they're so frustrating, <laughs> but I love that you're doing it and don't stop. Like keep trying, keep going, keep learning. Don't be frustrated. I know it's, it's easy to be frustrated with a new medium, but I'm just impressed that you went for it. That's that's where I'm at. Like I'm amazed that you went through went for it and it's inspiring. So please keep at it. And I love the the way that you blended in the hair here as well. In the shadows, like the dark around the rump and like up. So like you have these really nice um, blends in there and it's beautiful. Anything you want to add, Rihanna? <laughs> now, uh, uh, the mountain in the back uh, that is like adding so much depth. Um, the shadow on the water also adding so much depth. Um, and I like the rim lights on the back. And in the mains. I just noticed those. I agree. <laughs> that is, yeah. 
the, the rim lights it gives it just that little bit much of uh, uh, form that's the right word that form uh, and, and the ghostness of the eyes yeah it really well done and really keep on practicing because I want to see more I really want to see more if this is just practicing I want to see more of this Because this is so beautiful. Okay, yeah. so, so let's move to chat and, and see what they have to say. Um, Shelly says, holy shit, man, pastels are so difficult. Such a great picture. Love the coloring. I agree with that, Shelly. <laughs> Felicia says, oh no, the thing went up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chat moved up on me again. Um, I love how you worked with pastels and shades are be and shades are beautiful. I like the seaweed color, the ha the seaweed hair um, he has. It looks gorgeous. The composition is really good. You nailed it. Um, pastel says bonus points for using pastels and color the color purple. <laughs> pastel. <laughs> um, Shelly says you also. Uh, you did so amazingly. Finrin says, love the flow of this piece. Yes, the flow! Everybody's loving the flow. Um, Unpredictable Artist says, um, the beautiful volume you've described with the shading and flow of motion with the seaweed mane and tail. Yes, it just moves your eyes. Um... Punky says, oh my god, um, this is gorgeous blend. I love that you used a reddish purple for the sky. It gives such a great contrast to the soft blues and greens of the Kelpie. I also love the composition. Fantastic work. Stress-free, Dad says. Oh no. <laughs> um, Raven says, these colors blend, especially the hair. Such nice color and flow. The whole picture complements itself. Nice color everywhere. Bonus points to the bright, gr glowing eye. So beautiful, yet wicked. Yeah, Raven loves the wicked. <laughs> oh, let's- did I miss anyone else's? Great composition and color, says Juan. And curious take on view point of perspective. Okay, so- oh, here- um, and then Monk says, um, Before I say anything about your piece, I just want to say I am so happy to have you part of this community. You have such a- you have so much love and support boiling over from your personality. I agree with this. I agree with this. And then your Kelpie. I love the soft gradients, um, pushes and pulls of these pastels. I can feel the texture of this piece. The moon brightness is seductive, especially with the extremely smooth gradient of the purple sky. Ah, <laughs> God, you're such a skilled bean. <laughs> yeah, we love you, Blend. Obviously, we melt over you. You are amazing, and I'm so glad that you are a part of this community and that you... <laughs> And that you grace us with your beautiful arts. And I love that you're trying something new. I know, my gosh. <laughs> I love the, the learning, the learning. I'm crazy. I sound like a crazy person. I'm like, I love it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to come back here. Instead, my head's going to explode. My head is going to explode. Okay, let's get to... Oh, my gosh. And this next piece, you guys... This fucking blew me away. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna make sure I am saying hi to everyone that has come in. Make sure I didn't miss anyone. I think we got everyone. Okay. Um, the next piece is Wands. So, we ready? Yeah, this this blew me away, Wan. I, I had no idea this is where you were going with this. I just have to say that. Okay, so this is Juan's piece. Um, Juan says, Legendary Kelpie of the Forgotten Lake. This illustration is a work in progress. The story is intended to portray a vague and in interconnected spiritual identity and phenomenon by which the spirit of one 
um, sorry, the spirit of one of the last legendary unicorns becomes fused with the spirit of a legendary sorcerer in ancient times. According to the legend, it is believed his spirit, the spirit was created due to a massive ship explosion during an expedition somewhere in the now known Captain Sea, uh, Cas Caspian Sea. Um, this is a lore I made up for the illustration as I drew it, and figured it might add some interesting context to it. And who knows, maybe a larger story might result from it someday. I freaking love this piece. Um, the one thing that I I saw myself, and I don't know that it was in there. Um, you said like a sorcerer, like blended with a unicorn. Um, but I'm seeing so much more than that. There's so much uh, thoughts provoking imagery. You have this horse that looks very conflicted. You know, this unicorn, very conflicted, um, almost in pain with the position that it's in. Um, and then you have this handprint, like on the shoulder, which illustrates, like maybe, um, like he's trying to push out. You know, this guy is trying to push out and be part of the unicorn, or you know, it just there. There's something there, story-wise. Um, also, being able to see the guy's face, you know, in the mirror. Um, but you have a baby-like character, and then like a death, like a skull at the bottom, um, which you know, results in time. So it almost feels like this is a cage of time. Um, so there's, there's just so much in this piece um, that I'm reading and it's beautiful. The storytelling alone um, makes this piece incredible. And that's why I'm, I'm awestruck by this is just the storytelling in this. Um, there's obviously something going on in this and, and something that um, I would love to know more about. Um, you have like the the horn is glowing. Um, the flow of the mane is incredible. Um, again, you you also have like this tail that's come right off the rib cage, which again I never would have thought to do that, but it adds this elegance. Um, and I really love that you did that. And you also brought the mane down onto the bottom of the tail to kind of like bring more of that feel that you have at the top more towards the bottom so you have this nice flow where you have the mane that goes all the way down the back and then it like comes back into the tail um, and then it shifts back into that mirror so you have this full circular motion with your eyes um, which is just it's gorgeous this this piece is gorgeous the bubbles coming out of the nose just so much detail the anatomy is on point the ripples like on the horse's face like the folds in its neck I'm gushing over this piece, obviously. Um, I'm gonna... In the line art... Oh my gosh, Juan. The line art. The hair. I'm gonna stop. I'm gushing. Um, Rihanna, to you. <laughs> now, <laughs> you haven't left anything over. I, I was writing when I first see, see this piece, so I'm writing like... Okay, I have to see this. I directly see this. And I'm just like, okay... They don't have cities. Okay, they don't have cities. They don't have cities. Go, go ahead and rip you if you if just just speak from the hearts. <laughs> uh, so the atom uh, uh, and then that a beautiful word comes again. Uh, I love the muscles. How the muscles work. Uh, the muscles of the neck work in the horse. He obviously looked at a dressage horse, um, uh, uh, so the 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 neck uh, of the horse in the whole uh, that that muscle is going very well uh, to the deep chest of the horse. The legs very well rendered, very well rendered in line art. I uh, love the baby face and the skull on the mirror and then the beautiful aged male head very nice nicely done the horn of the the, the, the unicorn horn very nicely done the mains I've written down so flowy what 
you see that it is in the water because they are floating, they are not in the wind. Um, uh, the tail, it uh, curves so you see it in the picture, so it takes your eye up to that mirror, so you see the eyes. Uh, it is that I is uh, the face of the horse. It takes you back to to the horse, his and the mirror uh, because of that hill. Um, uh, what well, have I? The bubbles you have and the hand on the shoulder. It tells a story and you know there is a story behind it and you want to know more about what is the story what is the story about yeah beautiful done very beautiful done thank you for this piece yeah this is this is definitely one of my favorite pieces by Yuan for sure but let's uh let's get in and see what people are saying here what? Excuse me while I change my trousers? Oh no, why? Thanks a lot, Juan. How could you do this to me? In the words of Deadpool, I should have worn- You know what? <laughs> I'm done reading that comment. <laughs> um, Jesus says, um, hot damn, this is phenomenal. The fur and the mane are beautiful. Um, Punky says, holy shit, Juan, this is breathtaking. The details of this horse anatomy and hair, the mirror with the wizard and the fact that you can see the reflection of the surface of the water on the horse's body. Yes, I know, it is blind It is freaking mind-blowing. I, I agree. Um, Raven says, I can't point one thing without finding another thing I love about this one, um, but I gotta give props to that mirror placement and face, just goddamn. Yeah, um, let's see, Unpredictable Artist says, I am in love with the water light reflection on this. Um, Blend says, Juan, the handprint is truly an awesome touch and I would love to learn more about the origins of it. The expression between the man in the mirror and the Kelpie itself, itself matches perfectly. Worry and defeat and also a small glimmer of hope trying, as, um, truly aspiring. Yes, exactly. Couldn't have said that better myself, Blend. Exactly, that worry and defeat. Um, Evolution says, I love this idea of the whole story. Um, it is awesome and the detail on this are beautiful and handprint on the side adds so much. Main turned into the fin is great. So much to look at. Um, Leia says, the shading and the dynamics and confidence of this piece are so stunning. I agree. <laughs> Juan is dying. Juan is dying with the compliments. Give me compliments. Give me compliments. <laughs> yes, Juan, we love it. Um, Monk says, you are an amazing traditional artist. I normally am full of so many words, but I am honestly speechless. Composition aside, I feel invited into a new world and invited into your mind and heart. Just oof, I am honored to be your friend. Your passion is to die for. You are the wonderful, <laughs> the wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I, and then yeah, it says I love the story that you constructed as you drew it and how it's reflected into the mirror and the handprints. Yeah, I didn't know this is where you were going with this at all. Wait, what? <laughs> no! Okay, hold on a second. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go to the stream. Next. He wants to freeze the stream. Oh no! Oh no. Did I not get this fully entered? Hold on a second. I have. I don't have a description for this one. Uh, the next one is Eli's. Uh, 
Ah, I didn't enter it all the way. Darn it! Arr, I'm mad at myself. Okay, so we'll do it this way. I'll have this pulled up um, while I read this out loud. Forget to shut and hi, Leo. Yeah, oh, yeah, guys, go. Ah! Let me come back here real quick. Guys, go check out Juan. Go check out Juan. He is an incredible streamer and does incredible arts. And he's got an Insta as well. Go, go support. All right, thank you. Thank you, Rih Rihanna. He's like, don't forget to shout him out. See, I, I do this, I do this. Um, okay, so this one's Eli's. And Eli, uh, it is uh, Kelpie at Sunrise is the name of this one. And uh, he says, I did a light sketch with a graphite pencil and then outlined the colored, colored with colored pencil, layered different colors to get the right color. I made the Kelpie black after reading up on some of the mythos about them, and I made the mane and tail from Kelpie clusters. From Kelpie clusters? Nice. Well, I like that you like you drew the character like in a wave, like as if the Kelpie is controlling the water. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, I also love to see that I believe this is your first submission and I love that you are doing that and I love that you are using graphite and then you're also using colored pencil um I actually like I said I have a hard time using graphite personally and I don't know I always like to see people use mediums that I, I have difficulties with um and yeah I'm really liking what you have done with like the tail going one direction, the wave going the other. And there's just this nice loop where you go from the, you know, you go from the wave like into the Kelpie. It's a really nice touch on that. But yeah, I really yeah, like I the like curve. The composition. I like. The, I really like the composition of it. I. Uh, uh, love that you went traditional uh, a pencil, color pencil, uh, line art, line art. Uh, uh, well done, nice piece. Thank you for submitting for the first time. Next yeah. time again. And it's a uh, Kelpie at sunrise. Sunrise. So, like, I I do believe we are seeing a sunrise in the background here. Like on like the water, and then we're seeing like the sunrise in the back there. Like I didn't so. See that. Yeah, I just noticed that. So yeah, so you brought some of those yellows from the sunrise like onto the main. So yeah, like there's there's a lot of like thought here and a lot of potential, and I just hope that you keep up with it, and that you keep submitting and. And if you don't if you don't keep submitting that you at least keep drawing um, because it, I see so much potential in here like you've got the forms they're there this is obviously a horse um, yeah and just keep at it like I like how you like pulled the like individual strands out on some of it to add like more volume to the hair yeah just keep at it and uh, let, let's uh, color blending huh beautiful color blending mm-hmm in the sea, the blending of the colors. Okay, let, let's move to uh, chat and see what they have to say. Um, Jesus says, beautiful pose, and the wave compliments the pose. Um, Raven says, I can see this being a magical gathering card image. Very nice, holds a nice uh, majestic feel, um, not only for the horse, but for the ocean as well. Nice glow with the hair, very well done. Um, Shelly says, loving the hair and the way the head looks. Um, Majestic is a great descriptor for this one, says Jelly. I love seeing new people join into the myth, um, the monthly myth. A lot of work goes into the Sunday's end, um, says Monk. And so new folks joining are so awesome. I know this was not the intent, but the way the wave of the water is flowing um, makes it feel like a continuation of its tail yeah i could see that i, I could see that 
Um, Evolucia says, I really like the pose here and how he stands by the wave. This looks beautiful. And uh, Juan says, um, there's, it's refreshing simplicity. Uh, uh, there's a refreshing simplicity about this piece. I agree with that. What are you gonna add? I agree too. <laughs> yeah, I was wanting to add that I just noticed the ears. The ears were backwards. Oh, they which, are. Yeah, like they are like intent meanness. So when a horse has his ears to the back. It means the intent, no, a bit of harm. And yeah, yeah, he's up to no good. All right, well, let's come back here. Welcome back, Punky. Welcome back. Uh, ooh, I forget this one. For some reason, guys, if you put your video to 18 plus, it does not work on my site. Um. This one, Raven, I believe it says that it's 18 plus. You have an age restriction on it. Um, I'm not exactly sure why you have an age restriction on it, <laughs> but I thought that I'd let you know. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up in YouTube, unfortunately. Um, so give me a second because it's redirecting me when I click on it. Watch on YouTube, come on. Yeah, so I don't know why you have an age restriction on it, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm unable to watch it directly through the site. Oh, well, is that because there's drowned dead children? Okay. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. All right. This is why it's age restricted. Okay, but yes. So let's go ahead and play this. Um, Raven says, letting the mind wander. Um, just wanted to let my wa my mind wander this time around. Also, don't get carried away, it's paint. Just felt like it was needed for this. My Kelpie is a dark, shadowous kind of creature based on a dream I had when I was a very young rookie. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's watch this again. This is based off a dream you had? Holy shit, Raven. I need to know this dream. <laughs> oh my. I love that you painted it. I love that you painted it. So this is fired Sculpey? And then you paint it? Is there- Again, it just- Oh, go again, ahead. It's more, it's more the monster of Lickness. Beautiful done, though. Uh, yeah, I like how you put a whole scene, like, in here. You've got, like, the whole lake. You've got, like, all these different figures. I, I do wish that we could see a little bit closer to the Kelpie. Is it- is its eyes red? Oh nice, you painted a face on that one. Dismembered. Are these children dismembered? I actually don't answer that. Don't answer. We don't we don't need that. <laughs> I don't want to age restrict mine. The video is good. We don't need to age restrict it. No, but this is really creative, but honestly, that's why I said I gotta know the stream. This is pretty intense here. This scene here that we're looking at. Pretty intense. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here just because it's on YouTube. Um, I can't let it- I, it doesn't want to loop. Um, so let me read some of the comments. Um, Pastel says, I really love this piece, Raven. I love how the water seems to be turning black surrounding the Kelpie and the death of the- yeah, <laughs> I'm very glad that you painted this and the Kelpie contrasts so much and it's surrounding. Um, it has just mixed the scene. Yeah, red eyes, large red eyes. Okay, that's what I thought, but that's why I was asking. Creepy man, creepy, weepy. Punky, this is the horse of your nightmares, right? 
Um, Punky says, Raven, this is awesome. Just like Dead said, I love that you painted this one. It really adds to the scene. I love the one smiling child. I have a feeling you don't like the other kids. Oh my. <laughs> uh, you know the answers. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> um... Let's see. Is this the story, Raven, about the child that hacked up his own finger? No. The one that stayed alive? We we need to keep it as 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 like YouTube friendly as possible. <laughs> Let's not talk oh. about weird things. <laughs> the actual story of the cow the actual Scottish version of the cow thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. Uh, Raven, oof, what a dream, but at any rate, I really love um, that you are focusing on smaller fun details. Um, each myth goes by. I would love to see the close-up of the Kelpie. I know, I want to see the close-up of the Kelpie too. That's why I was like, I want to see. Um, Effalusia says it's quite scary and awesome altogether. I really like how you executed the whole idea and how you created awesome work. Um, Shelly says, awesome, absolutely amazing piece. Love the colors, love how the Kelpie came out in the water. And uh, Jesus says, very unsettling, which is the point. Happy to see you utilizing more colors in your sculpts. Yes! And uh, Jelly says, looks awesome and scary. This is an intense scene. All right, so I think, thank you so much, Raven. I look forward to your submissions. I wasn't sure you had one this time. I put a question mark next to your name when I was like, I don't know if I have your submission. <laughs> I felt oh, bad. No. I didn't know. I didn't know. Guys, go and check out Raven. Um, Raven is a game streamer and artist. Um, yeah, go and check out his stuff. And hi, Sun vs. the Moon. How are you? I'm sorry, I didn't say hi when you first came in. I tried not to like divert away from the attention of the, the spotlighted artist. Um, but welcome in. Guys, go and check out Sun vs. the Moon. He is a game streamer. Let's see. Not many um, might notice, but the sides are human heads. Oh no! No! Why? <laughs> oh my gosh, Raven. This is dark. But the actual story is very dark. It's very dark. It is a very dark story. Okay, so the next piece is... Do you see who's next piece? It's Rihanna's. Oh no, and it's really VIP because it's really work in progress. It's way from done. Monk, thank you so much for gifting Sun vs. the Moon. You don't have to do that. Are you on a mission again? Are you, are you on the mission? The mission of... Making sure everyone is subbed again. Please get off that mission. I throw you shit. I throw shit at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing. All right. Anyway, um, let's see. I had sh shit with my computer. Oh no! Just for letting you know. Oh no. Uh, did you want to read this since this one is yours? Um, or did you want me to read it? Oh, I, I don't know what I exactly said, but I, I had such a problem with my computer that I started over four times, I think. Oh no! I, yeah, I, uh, uh, I went back to uh, so a not printable version, so really small. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my was my main problem and now uh, I'm back to a beautiful piece I think hope when yeah. it's finished finally so this one this one is Rihanna's um, and it says that this is a whip a kelpie in front of in front of what a castle um, awesome. yeah this uh, month's computer acted up um, yeah, this month my computer acted up. I, st I stated over four times. Oh, you started over four times. That's what you were saying. Yeah, 400 yeah. DPI is the max for my computer. You can see where the painting is going, but it is far from done. 
I'm so sorry that you had to start over so many times. Oh my gosh, why? You need you just need a new computer. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah. Well, I really like that what you did here. Like I really like it it almost looks like it's a ghost of itself. Like it there's like water coming up around the horse and it's almost like a a spirit like inside the horse. I really like that. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to become. Nice. And and like I like how you have like the um the monochromatic like weeds off to the right side. Um honestly, like I, yeah, I, I mean I really like that contrast that you have there. Um I also like that you added a background, <laughs> which a lot of people don't do. Um I really liked that. Um I for one avoid backgrounds at all costs. Um but I see that you have like buildings and a moon. Um, you have clouds here, so like each time like you submit a digital piece like you have grown so much so much Like every digital piece that you submit. There's just so much more growth um, And you didn't give up like to start over four freaking times and you just keep you just kept doing it um, it's impressive and I Love that you you did keep powering through so I mean, it's hard to do. It's hard when you're like, I just want to give up. Why is this like fighting against me? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, um, welcome in raiders. Um, we actually are going over submissions for our monthly myth challenge. Um, so I will greet you in just a moment after we're done um, reading uh, some of the submissions um, in comments. Uh, for this piece, and then I will give you the proper hello that you deserve. Um, but welcome, welcome. Um, please feel free to share um, what you stream and a little bit about yourself if you would like. Um, let's see. Let's see what people have to say about this piece. Um, Unpredictable Artist says, I'm loving the detail and texture on the stone on the arch. Um, Punky says, Rihanna's, this is a great whip. I'm so sorry your computer pooped out on you. I love that it feels like the horse is pulling around the soul behind it. I can't wait to see it finished. Um, Jesus says, looks great so far. Love the surroundings and the, um, the specter attached to the horse is great. Um, Juan says, interesting composition. It does capture a spooky feeling and ghostly vibe. And uh, Blen says, oh my god, um, Rihanna's, the earth tones are great. Going into the muddy water and the spirit rising up behind it. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then uh, Raven says, love the details and scenery has a cartoon, um, majestic beast feeling, and I'd see a novel or a in a novel or a cartoon. I really love it, and that live background in it. Nice! Okay. They're also kind. Also kind. Yeah, and then we got one more. Um, Jelly says, it's rough, Rihanna's, but it looks amazing. Um, so far, I want to know the story behind this. I really like the touch of the foreground foliage and it creates great depth. Oh, Monk. Monk has one too. And then I'm gonna stop and then then we then we gotta move to the next piece and, and say hi to these raiders. Um, but Monk says, um, I'm enjoying the ones where people are going down the spooky routes with the Kelpie. I'm sorry that you had to start over four times, but at any rate, this turned out great for being a whip. The perspective of the bridge is really well done, and I'm impressed with how you rendered the water. Rendering water is one of my favorite things to render, so good on you for how well you did this. I Water is freaking hard, man. <laughs> you it did great. It is very hard. It is very hard. Alright, well look- I, I need to wake my second son. Okay. Uh, I am back in second. Okay, yeah, no worries, no worries. You can, you can, uh, either, yeah, there you go. Alright, so, welcome in, raiders. Hi, I am dead. We're dead on. Um, and, uh, we do the monthly, monthly myth dose. 
I don't recommend. I don't recommend. I don't <laughs> recognize your name, so I'm giving you a little bit more of a speech. Um, Haya, I am um, primarily an art streamer, but tonight we played some. Oh, nice! A meme out suggested the raid, as we come from a uh, Nordic storytelling to your mythic art promote. Oh, yay! Me Mouse, where are you? Hi, Me Mouse. <laughs> Thank you for the recommendation. Well, I'll have to check out your stream sometime. Um, it's uh, Comron. Comron? Cameron, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry I messed up your name. Uh, let me check out your, um, your stream. Cameron Creates. Thank you so much for the raid, nobody's and thank you for the follow. Is weird like you thank you, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. And I know that you're an artist, and I know that you are a streamer, but let me give you a follow. Um, normally I'd go through the spiel and say, hey, uh, share some of your arts, um, but because we're doing reveal day, um, I, I wait to ask for that stuff until the end of the reveal. I do believe we have two more submissions to get through, and then if you're still here, I would love to see your art. Um, yeah, we just do things a little bit differently just because of the reveal day, but after reveal day, um, yeah, we totally jump in. And we totally jump into regular stream. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that, Becky. Yeah, that was the one that I was talking about that I liked as well. Your other Kelpie. Okay, so let me go ahead and jump into this next piece. It's all good. I have to head to bed, but we can connect another time. I get it. Oh yeah, well if you ever drop in, just feel free to drop some of your art. And uh, just straight in chat, because you know, it's like very supportive community in here. And I just want to see your art. I just want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> I want to get to know you. <laughs> Alright, so are you back, Rihanna? I'm back. Okay, let's see if I can get it to connect. There it goes! All right, so let's uh, go ahead and jump into this next piece. Oh, a toast! In with a raid. A toast! Welcome in, toast. Welcome, raiders. Hi, we are doing a monthly myth reveal, and we're just ready to jump into the next submission. Welcome in, guys. Uh, so oh, yeah. Raiders. <laughs> okay, so this next piece is Punky's. Okay, so this is Punky Dumplings piece, um, and uh, Punky says Swamp Horse. Um, this is a whip of my Kelpie. Um, I had this idea of the beginning of the month, but catch yeah, but catching COVID really set my work schedule behind. So only the inks got done this time around. Hopefully she'll be done soon, because I really enjoyed this piece. You know, honestly, Punky, this piece is amazing. I freaking love this piece. Like, the pose? The pose? <laughs> and her ears? And the trees? <laughs> oh my gosh, the trees? Just like, everything about this piece just screams to me. I love this piece. Um... The way you flow, like, her hair is flowing off the branch, like, the way you have the line art so much thinner in the background. You are a master of trees. You have no idea. Like, <laughs> like I never knew that you were such a masterful tree builder. <laughs> but you are! <laughs> oh, just like the last few pieces you've done with these just incredible trees. And this one, this one, you're like, I hate trees, and I'm like, I fucking can't tell. <laughs> I love this. The anatomy on her, like, the mix between the combination between the human anatomy moving into the horse anatomy, there's just some really good connections in here. I love that she has got a big bum. <laughs> I like that she's got the big horse bum. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no other way to say it. <laughs> I was trying to say rump, and I keep saying bum. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm giggly. But anyway, I love this piece, Funky. I love her. I hope that you put her in your comic somehow, because I'm just in love with this character. Just the look on her face, the expression alone, is like, what? <laughs> 
What are you, what are you staring at? I'm just hanging out over here. <laughs> that attitude. <laughs> I know. And the line art, like the line weights, I just... You have like this tree in front and you've got this like really crisp, thick line on this tree. And like even on the character, it's blended in with the background because it's not as thick as that main one. And so just like everything about this line art. And, and you said, I know this is a whip. I know it's a whip, but what you got here is amazing. And please, please, please share and let me update on the site when you get done with this, because it is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm you glad that you got this. Know, you already know the depth when this is colored in, the depth is going to be great. Yeah, and you just can already see by, the depth, yeah. Yeah, just by the line art. Yeah, depth. and go ahead. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting oh, you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I love the swampy feel just by all this, uh, yeah, the, 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 this gross, slimy feel of, uh, you all already feel the sliminess of what is hanging off the trees. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it goes into the hair. It, it, it goes into her hair. Um, I love how you like, I have breasts, but you can't see it. <laughs> Very nicely done. done. <laughs> Very nicely done. Um, yeah, the big bump. There is, like you <laughs> said, said it, there, there is just so... Uh, uh, the horse tail, there is a tree. But it's not. I am not sure if it's going to be a horse tail or a part of the tree. Um, I don't mind either way. It is just beautiful. Um, Why well, have I. Oh, a tree herder. You had something about it, like. I don't know how to do. And I was thinking about the tree herders from Wheel of Times. Uh, a very popular book and I was thinking tree herders it's just tree herders all over um, oh yeah that is it okay I but am so hyped to get this colored in I, I really want to see this finished yeah, it's a beautiful, gorgeous piece. I can't wait to see it finished. Um, let's move to um, chat and see what chat has to say. Um, Juan says, such nice and clean line work. Line work. The trees are the next level, characters and composition as well. I look forward to seeing the final result whenever it is ready, of course. Um, Raven says, she looks like she's having a great time in the trees. Of course Raven would point that out. And Meemaw says, that booty! <laughs> that booty, though. <laughs> um, Evolution says, this looks beautiful. Love the line here. The line... The line art here, sorry. The character is beautiful, and you can see the background looks great. Even a whip like this is awesome. Uh, Raven says, love the detail and backgrounds with the color would be phenomenal. I agree. Must, must, must see. Um, Unpredictable Artist says, I love the seaweed hair so much. Um, Me Mouse is, is put butt emotes, which is very, very, <laughs> very, very needed. Um, let's see. Jelly says, your line work and detail is amazing, Punky. It reminds me of Art Novar. Novar? It's beautiful. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Um, Monk says, Punky, this is so much, um, there is so much that can be said about your artwork, but I'm going to admit, I'm going to aim for pointing out something I feel like few folks will point out. This piece was well as a lot of your other, in this piece, as well as a lot of your other myths, you managed to redefine how since... Sensorialism, what? <laughs> and intimacy can be conveyed in a classy way. 
Um, this is this doesn't have to be dirty. This pose is intimate, but it is definitely classy. <laughs> She's having her hands between their legs. Well, and they're not exactly between their legs. You know, um, you know, they are on her lower abdomen, which can be considered considered sexual. But honestly, like it's not. Like her her arm is not between her legs. No, oh, no, I I know I, I also <laughs> did it, but I when he said it like that, I was thinking, yeah, if you see that, like, you could say her head is between her legs. They're not. It's not. No, 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 it's, oh, it's not. not. <laughs> I'm throwing shit. It's not. It's on her abdomen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. It is a central pose, and it is beautiful, and us women need to own it, and we're not fucking... Ah! Sorry. I'm gonna start a rant about feminism. Let's get off this subject, please. <laughs> Run from this subject. Us sexy ladies need to own our bodies, and not everything has to be fucking sexualized because we're female. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Not- okay, so... Monk says not flattery. It's a personal truth. Um, yeah, we do believe you are amazing, Punky! Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. And that booty. Yeah, that booty. <laughs> Her hands are wherever you want them to be! Ah, <laughs> oh, Punky. Lewd. I call you out, lewd. <laughs> it is not. It is not because uh, he can't draw hands. Because the other hand is beautiful rendered. Okay, so um, the next piece is actually Nins. Um, so I guess there is. Uh, there's two more pieces. I'm sorry. I thought there was two, but I I forgot that there was Nins in here too. Um, no, no, yeah, she is not. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's nobody and uh, is weird like you and I don't know how to say your name and very fun and good that your COVID is much better that is a very long name and I don't know what to call you so I'm just gonna call you uh, Toon Toon thank you so much for the follow unless you have a better way to uh to give me that name. Hello, girls. Is, it, is that how you're starting the conversation with us? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so... The next piece is Nins. And... Yes, let, let's move to this. Tootie. Okay. Welcome in Tootie. Alright, so this is Nins. Um... Nin went with a more dark piece, which I freaking love. Um, so this one is called The Last Ride. Um, I use Krita, uh, still new to Krita, so it was good practice. Not actually happy with this one, but it's okay. But but it's, sorry, it's okay at best. Um, I work, I'll work on touching this one up later. You know, honestly, like, yeah, you say this isn't your best piece, but, you know, you're learning Krita, and there are some elements in here that is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of the things that I want to point out is the foliage off to the left side that unfortunately isn't showing up really well on stream, because a lot of it is being cropped off. Guys, if you ever want to see these images in full detail, um, please, please check them out on the site. Um, there is full, like, foliage off to the side here, um, off to the side of the lake. Um, there's some, like, be like beautiful, like, almost watercolor. Um, it reminds me of, like, Bambi, like, the scene from Bambi with the foliage over the top of, like, this really beautiful background um, that almost looks watercolored. Um, and then off to the left, you also have these hills that are also very fully rendered. Like, the background here is on point. The water is on point. You have some really beautiful elements here. I want to say that the only thing that I really see, like any kind of, you might have struggled with or maybe that you didn't like, is maybe the character um, here. And honestly, like it's not bad. Like you said, it's it's still good. 
um, and you could probably render that more, but the background is just so on point. Like, it is just, it's, an, it's immaculate, it's beautiful. Um, and then you have, like, the the reflection of the Kelpie in the water with the, gl the glowing red eye. Um, there's nothing wrong with that either. Like, I love that too. Like, I love how you, like, pulled and pushed, like, the, to make it look like it's kind of, like, rippled with the water. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful piece. I do like the flow. You, it looks like you have, like, the Kelpie mane kind of, like, choking, um, the person on the back of the Kelpie. And he's dragging him into the water. Again, like with your pieces, there's incredible storytelling. I, this one is definitely on point as well. With your storytelling, you have these stories. Like, when you look at your pieces, you, you know there's a story there. And I love this. So just don't be down on yourself because there's so much beauty and so much elements in here that I just, I love and adore. So... I hope that you don't give up on the piece, and I hope that you do continue to render it um, if you're unhappy with it to the point where you are happy with it, because like I said, there's so many good things here. I don't want to see you put it to the wayside because of, you know. <laughs> did you did you want to add something, um, Rihanna's? Yeah, I love Krita, and if you have any questions about Krita, uh, please ask me. Uh, when I first started Krita, uh, I have been uh, helped by Autumn and uh, she helped me going and I love to uh, uh, follow, uh, follow up on that. So yeah, we have a great community here. Uh, make use of it. A lot of people here use everything that is going on. So. Uh, make use of the community. Uh, Anything you want to add about the you. piece? Uh, I love the rim light. It gives you a, a feeling of there is a moon going on. Uh, I love the foreshortening of the horse. That is very, very nice. I love uh, the child on the back. It looks like it is in fear. It doesn't want to get into the water. I... Uh, uh, don't see the foilish uh, that, uh, that you're talking about, but I will look it up. Yeah, they, I, unfortunately I, the foliage, it, it's gorgeous and it's cut off by the stream. So sad. Yeah. I think it has a lot of potential. Yeah, keep keep on working it because it is beautiful. Okay, yeah, let me uh, let me read uh, some of these comments. Um, Unpredictable says the reflection is amazing. Um, Effalusha says it looks awesome and the reflection in the water is great. I really like how you got you know you're caught in the movement. Um, let's see. Meemaw says, the red eye um, just in the water is so cool. Raven says, this makes the list of the wanted prince. Raven wants a prince. <laughs> um, Monk says, learning a new program can be annoying, and so seeing that you were able to get to this point while working with a foreign program slash medium is impressive. I always look forward to seeing Nin's work um, because they always put so much effort into the backgrounds. I 100% agree with Dead that you are a um, narrative artist. I also want to know the story of your work. Yes, like, and and that's that's so true. He does put so much work into those backgrounds, and I I avoid them. <laughs> like, I avoid those backgrounds, and I love that Nin meets the challenge and tells these beautiful stories with it. Uh, let's see. I just now see those hoof prints. Have you seen them? Yeah. <laughs> um, Jelly says, I love the glowing red eyes reflecting in the water and the movement in the piece, Nin. Um, there is so much to see in it. All right, so let's go ahead and... Oh, Punky says, um, Nin, the reflection in the water is phenomenal. Learning a whole new program is so hard, but the piece turned out great. I love how dark it is and it makes me feel... Uh, makes me feel 
it makes it feel more spooky. Yeah, and like, and on that note, like, um, yeah, I when I first learned uh, Clip Studio Paints, like, I was so frustrated by it. I was so frustrated, and the pieces I was making were not what I wanted. Because like, when I was I was in Photoshop for ten years, and then I switched over to Clip Studio, and it was like, I didn't know how to digital art anymore. So. Yeah, I agree with everyone. Like, for you to come this far and to do something so beautiful and so detailed, like, in a new program, a foreign program, you did amazing. So don't sell yourself short. Please don't. And guys, go and check out Nin. Nin is a digital artist, traditional artist, and also games. So go and check out his stream. Okay, so the next, the last one, this is the last submission of the night, and then we're going to vote and do our giveaway. Uh, learning a new program, uh, I already read that, I'm sorry. And how are you doing, dang it, Tiffany? I saw you come in, and I'm so sorry. I don't say hi to people until I'm in like an intermission where I'm not talking about um, someone's artwork. So welcome in, Dang It Tiffany. You guys, go and check out Dang It Tiffany. Um, they are a game streamer. And hi, Riot. How are you doing? Um, I enjoy these so much. I always forget we have a myth to vote on. <laughs> yeah. A GD Tank. Hey, how's it going? The Fire King. How are you? Okay, so... Um, the next one is uh, Jelly's. Jelly actually submitted. He wasn't going to, and I was like, no, you better submit. You were working on this. The program kept dying on him. And uh, he kept having to start over. So, Brianna, he's with you on that. <laughs> he's with you on that. Um, but yeah, so this one is Jelly's. And uh, this one, he wrote whip really big because he wanted everyone to know he was not done with it. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Monk, for that gift sub to Danga Tiffany. Thank you so much. You don't got to do that. Ah! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, so this one right here, um, this one is Gamer Jellies. And Gamer Jelly says, an ocean to explore. I started this too late, but have recently been inspired and moved to create this piece. I feel a spark igniting the fires of passion and positive change, and a new outlook have me more hopeful than ever. I have missed this community dearly, and I hope all of you forgive me for isolating. Oh, Jelly! I didn't read that, I just posted it. <laughs> I don't think anyone... Oh. Well, I'm glad that, you know, you're back to wanting to do the monthly myths and that you want to take part in it. I know that you did, you did like a Hydra? Hydran? Hydran? Yeah, you did a Hydran. <laughs> and you had planned to do more, and I'm glad that you're jumping back in. Um, but yeah, let, let's talk about the, the whip. I know that you were saying that you were having some issues with, like, the water, um... One of the things that I've noticed that a lot of people were avoiding, I, I don't know if it, avoiding is the word, um, but it was for me. The word avoiding is definitely true for me. Um, when I was thinking about making a reflective water horse, I I ran away from that idea screaming. <laughs> because too. I was like, I, <laughs> I didn't want to render water on a horse. <laughs> like, that is so hard, like the transparency and like thinking about all of that stuff. You tried to tackle that, and that in itself is impressive, and you should not give yourself such a hard time, because I know you were saying, well, it's not it's not done yet. It's, it's not as much as I want it to be done. Um, I haven't rendered it as much as I want. And, you know, honestly, I'm seeing a lot of potential here, and just the fact that you were willing to try to tackle something like this, like, it says a lot. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that you we're going for this, and I'm sorry that the program kept dying on you, <laughs> but I'm glad you didn't give up in having to start over and over and over again. Like I was saying to Rihanna, it, it's it's so hard and so frustrating when you make progress and then you lose an hour's worth of work and then have to start, you know, again. Because it, it's frustrating, but there's a lot of learning in that. Um, I've had that happen to me. And the second time you do it, you do it better, you do it faster, you do it more efficient. And there is learning in that. Like when you lose progress and you step forward, 
sometimes you you have learned how to do it quicker, faster, and get the same results. So um, I'm proud of you for like pushing through, and uh, thank you for submitting again. And yeah, I'm liking the anatomy on its uh, legs and its chest, and the reflections are working out so far. And the wave on the main, I like that you went with more of like a ocean wave um, on the main, and then more like a waterfall on the tail. Um, it's nice attention to detail. And I also like how you, you know, put in the, the occasional drop. <laughs> you know, you got a drop coming from its chin. <laughs> um, but yeah, great work. And uh, Rihanna, is there anything you wanted to say? The uh, and the, uh, the, the wrinkles in the water that it's standing in. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think that is going to be... Uh, that's what's going to be VIP. I think he has to work on. He's going to work more on that. Um, yeah. Uh, I th I love how the again the muscles are working. Uh, you really see the atomy. The uh, yeah, the difficult word again. <laughs> I can't speak. I know what it is, but I can't speak it out. Anatomy? Uh, yeah, anatomy. <laughs> that, that, yeah, I can't. I, I really can't get my tongue around that one. Oh, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I love, I love the muscles, how they work in, and how the reflection of the water goes. It's so hard. It's so difficult. Beautiful done, Diali. Okay, so let's move to chat and see what chat has to say. Um, Raven says, I love it, Jelly. Very nice water effects. I fully know what I'm looking at. Um, Unpredictable Artist says, I love it. I love how it looks like it's just rising from the water and creating itself. Oh, I love that you say that. That's awesome. Um, hi, Christopher. Uh, let's see. Uh, Punky says, Jelly, this is amazing, and the horse anatomy is gorgeous, and can totally feel how liquid um, feel sorry feel how liquid liquidy. See, is that a word? Liquidy. <laughs> how liquidy and fluid their body is. I love how the tail looks like it's dripping. I cannot wait to see this finished. Let's see. I'm sorry. Were you saying something, Ryan? <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to get liquefy. liquefy. Is that that's the right word? Liquefy is the right word, but um, I think liquidy is not. <laughs> it's not a word. I think I don't know. I'm dying. <laughs> um, I <laughs> my brain didn't want to say it. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, Evolusha uh, says I really like how the mane is almost a fin or wave, and the tail is running water. Um, he's eerily looks like he is made of water. Yeah, he really looks like he's made of water. Um, worked out great. And give us more arts, Jelly. Feed me. <laughs> see more. <laughs> Feed me, see more. <laughs> oh my. Um, one says the water. Um, the water feel and composition is cool. And yeah, surely carry on through the hardship. It's surely worth it if you are passionate about it, of course. And... Nobody's a nobody, and everybody is weird like you and me. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, thank you so much for that follow, old flame. That old flame. <laughs> Has my old flame returned? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, old flame. Uh, let me uh, do this. Let us know if you're a streamer and or artist. But yeah, we'll, we'll give you shoutouts on uh, in between if not. Um, okay, so uh, Monk says, I love this. It is gelatinous. Um, I look forward to seeing you get back into art. I love soft, blobby feel of it. It shows a lot about someone's skill when the appearance of a 2D image invokes a um, specific texture and sense of touch and I said this for someone else but I will always have a soft place in my heart for monochromatic blue <laughs> palettes <laughs> I always wear red but blue is my favorite color what I didn't know that 
Let's see. <laughs> okay. I think I think that's it, guys. I, I think that's it. Let's come back here. He does have a very Jelly. fun style. <laughs> Jelly, I want to see how you uh, approach this. I can see that you work with two colors and come back to those two colors. But I would love to see how you work on it. Go oh. and stream! Okay, so um, the next thing we're gonna do is the giveaway. Guys, um, there is a rule to the giveaway. Um, you have to be a follower and you have to have watched my stream at least 25 hours, okay? Um, 25 hours, so if you can please check if you were unsure, if you were new to my stream or you just followed, unfortunately you will not be able to enter the giveaway. Um, the giveaway is for a $100 Amazon gift card. Um, that Amazon gift card um, has to be redeemed in the US. So I'm sorry guys, if you are international, you have to use the Amazon.com in order to use it and that means that it might eat into some of your shipping. Um, but yeah, so for my international people, um, I have to I have to say that. Um, but let's uh, let's do hmm. Uh, let's do passion again, um, because again, guys, I, when I say this, and I mean it, I want you guys to feed your passions with this, and like I said, I'm gonna do this- oh shit. Um, I'm gonna do this as long as I can. I'm- I'm figuring out how I'm gonna do this, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm showing Jelly's work. I mean to do this. Okay, here we go. Um, so, uh, guys, feed your passion. Um, Buy art supplies. Um, if you're passionate about video games, then buy a video game. Just invest in yourself, in your passion. Uh, so yeah, is it not working? Punky's in there. Okay, Toast is in there. Yeah, so check your hours. Um, if you do uh, Expedition Works Specs, it'll show you how many hours that you've been watching. Oh my gosh! Why? <laughs> Just underscore underscore monk donated $100. Yay and support for the things. <laughs> Thank you everyone for having been here to support all of these artists and I am honored to have been a part of this. Thank you Dead for everything that you do for us. The community is a home to me and I never had one. Aww. Monk. Well, I'm glad you're a part of this community, and you know you don't have to do that, and I keep telling you, friendship is enough. <laughs> I'm... Thank you. Thank you for supporting this community, um, with being here, with submitting art, with donating, for being a friend, for being the supportive and loving person to everyone that submitted. You wrote a novel for every single person because you just care, and that means so much, Monk. Like, that alone is so much more than the donos, and I thank you for the donos too. You are an amazing person, and you are loved by this community. And this is your home, and I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Monk, you're the best. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, get in here and feed your passions. <laughs> Uh, like I said, if you're unsure if you've met the 25-hour requirement, which is essentially just... Essentially a week's worth of watching me stream. It's not a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, use specs, guys, to check your hours to make sure that you are part of that. Just so we're not getting uh, people that have not been part of the community more than a week. Or less than a week. Hi, Seven! Don't mistake it, everyone. I'm bullying Dev. <laughs> you are! You are bullying me! <laughs> okay, so we've got BJ in here, Evolusha, Finrin, Jesus, Juan, Toast, Riot, uh, Punky Dumpling, um, Unpredictable Artist, Becca, and Yats. And guys, if you've already won, 
you cannot win until the following year, so please wait 12 months before you you enter again. <laughs> that is the plan, unless we run out of people, and then we might have to do let you guys do it again. But, you know, this is why I don't announce this, though. I want this to go to the community, and if people don't make it to the end of the reveal, they don't even know this is happening. Um, but while people are doing the explanation mark passion, um, I'm gonna go ahead and find our next myths. So let's do a challenge and we can vote while we are getting this done. You should draw a man, a what? A mandalo? A mandalo. And so we're gonna vote um, as well. I'm gonna grab this tab and it's gonna make everything confusing. Give me that tab. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm breaking my setup. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna paste this in here. Mandalo. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> what is that? What? Is it a, is it a demon? Oh, weird! It's like a torso, like, freaking... It's like a- it's a demon with, like, without legs. <laughs> okay! <laughs> I'm dying! I'm dying! Okay, so there's one. <laughs> you <need> another one? <laughs> okay, so this one is a- what? A blue furried man. <laughs> I'm sorry, these are funny so far. I'm having a hard time with these. A blue furry man. He's like a monkey. <laughs> hey, blue monkey. <laughs> oh, Monk, thank you so much for gifting a sub to that old flame. All right, and then then uh, Rihanna, do you want to do the last one? Explanation mark challenge. I think it should work for you at least once, <laughs> unless it hates me. Okay, let's see. Oh, misspelled. It's okay. It's okay. Misspelled. Yeah. Of course, I can't spell. I can spell English. It's It's okay. You know. Um. Do you want me to do it, or, or do you want to try again? I just there you go, you got it, you got it. Uh, let's see. Oh, and what? Is that- is that Cupid? No, what is that? What is that? Humanoid- Humanoid what? It's a- it's from Ohio. Oh my gosh! Flame! Thank you so much for the 500 bitties! Thank you for those bitties! Oh my gosh, and the BJ! BJ! <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits! Guys, can we get some hype in the chat um, for Flame and BJ for those biddies? The bitty biddies. Oh, Monk! No, no! Monk! No! 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 At least we can still see Rihanna! <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? Why did- <coughs> Throwing shit at- <laughs> See this? There, I threw it at you. That was at you. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. And thank you, Blend. Thank you, Blend. For those 60 bitties. Oh my gosh, a negativity with the 50 biddies! Guys, can we still get the hype in the chat for all of this love and support and those biddies? Hi! Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Oh my gosh. I'm... I don't know what to say. Thank you guys, you don't have to do that. Oh my gosh, and t dang it Tiffany, thank you for the 100 biddies. Guys, 
Thank you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a category. You know. Smother dead with love and support. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> no. I'm gonna I'm gonna redraw that last one. The last one didn't make sense. It's coming up with like um, cryptids. List of cryptids. Like it's like a whole list. Um, we're not doing that. That's like too much. What? I don't know how to spell challenge anymore. Like you broke me. Yats, thank you so much for resubbing. Holy crap. And Punky, thank you for gifting a sub to Clockwork Engineering. Holy shit, you guys! Stop it! <laughs> oh my gosh, stop. You you guys are you're too kind. You're you're too kind. Thank Thank you. You you don't have to. Your friendship is enough. Your friendship is enough! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I will not be silenced, ma'am! <laughs> don't, don't you call me ma'am! <laughs> Rude. <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> I can't spell challenge anymore, and I don't know how to use my own comments. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to spell anymore, <laughs> help me! Oh no! Toast! No! <laughs> Toast! Toast! Thank you for giving five subs to the channel! What? Hey Zeus! Thank you for the 106 bits! You didn't have to grant us with awesome monthly challenge. Oh my gosh! Accept the love dammit! <laughs> my god! <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh my gosh! You guys! You guys! Thanks, that's how I spell challenge. Thank you. Thank you, I need that. <laughs> Give it to me. I don't- I- I spelled it, like, twice, right? And then I couldn't after you guys broke me. I apparently- I spell worse. <laughs> ah! I can't hear- I can't- <laughs> I can't type! <laughs> Apparently that's what I give for trying to give a giveaway. Japanese dinner cup. Uh, okay, so a tas tasu tasu. Okay. <laughs> tasu. I'm voting for the Tasu. It looks like the Dragon Ball Z <laughs> Tasu. <laughs> okay. What? What am I being yelled at for? What did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, dead is gonna be dead in a minute because of us, apparently. Yes, you're making me cough. <laughs> Actually, I forgot about the giveaway for a moment. <laughs> You forgot about it? Okay, well, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna get, let's go ahead and do the giveaway and then let's vote. Um, because uh, it took me a little while. So let's do this during all this hype. Guys, um, build up the hype in the chat. And I don't mean giving biddies and subs and things like that. No, 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 just hype. Emote hype, your own emotes. Give me lots and lots of emotes. I want emotes. Okay, so I'm starting this. Emotes. Emotes. Come on, smash those emotes. Any any emotes you give me, butt emotes, I don't care. <laughs> give me emotes. <laughs> Who's gonna get this? Who's getting it? Let's see, let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Becca! Becca! Ooh. Becky! So, um, oh, Becky, 
Congrats, uh, congrats. <laughs> please, Becky, um, DM me an email. Please, no typos in your email. Once I send out the card, I cannot um, get it back. So please, please, please send me an email to send that to you. Um, Becky, and congratulations. Please, please, please support your passion. And tell me if you feel, feel that you can. I would love to know what you get with it. Okay. So yeah, I will um, be sending that to you after stream. And congratulations. Yay! Yes! I'm excited for you. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and make a poll. Um, I got to make a poll. Which my site is not open to do this. Um, but this is the dragon here, guys. Um, this is the uh, Tatsu. Tatsu. Um, Japanese dragon. Uh, I don't know much about this one, but we'll have to grab the Wikipedia. Let me do that. It feels like the dragon from uh, the uh, Disney uh, movie. Uh, oh, how's it called? I'm trying but to find out. Dis um, Disney. Um, uh, about a Japanese girl. No, a Chinese girl. Okay, so let's, uh... This right here? Yeah, Mulan. Mulan. Mushu. Yeah, I think Mushu. this is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, so this is, uh... The Tatsu, capable of eating anything. Um... It lives in rivers, waterfalls, mountains, lakes, seas, and palaces deep in the ocean. Yeah, so yeah, just read about that one, guys. And then we have this, like, blue monkey thing. The, the blue monkey. There you go. There's that. I don't understand. Look, the blue monkey. And then we also have... This weird demon thing. It's like a demon with a detachable, uh, detachable legs. Um, oh, great! So this one right here, man, mandigal, mandigal. Uh, so I'll, I'll put oh. this in there too. Mandigal. So yeah, guys. Um, keep in mind which one you you want to vote for. Um, while I make the poll. And I'm actually going to make the poll shorter. We're not going to do the whole 10 minutes. Um, I think that you guys are capable of reading and deciding um, quicker than that. So I think I'm going to make the poll about five minutes instead. I think it just 10 is just a little long. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll get this voted on. And, uh, and then we will switch to normal stream. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make the panels and stuff, which... Then, uh, then I'll, I'll let Rihanna run away <laughs> before before we do that. But yeah, let's uh, let's do the voting and the poll. Oh, Where? Are, all three, they are great. All three of them. You like them all? I like them all. A uh, new poll. We have done a monkey-like creature, haven't we? Uh, so this one, Mendigal, Mendigal. Uh, this one, done. and Tasu. Alright, and let's change this to five minutes, and there you go. And anyone can vote on this poll. Um, oh so yeah, so let's see it, guys. Uh, looks like we have two votes in. Um, one for the- okay, we've got two for dragon, um, one for the demon thing. Oh, we're tied. So we'll just uh, pull this up here, so you guys can see it. The results as they come in. 
monkey-like creatures have a test for children again. If you want me to, cause we can We want the demon- we want the torso demon, y'all? Let me drag over? Oh my... Yeah, Kelpie is the horse of Scottish lore. The upcam is our guest host for the monthly myth reveal. The what is? <laughs> the what? And guys, keep in keep in mind, um, to the people that host with me, um, I do show your artwork um, on the, uh, the YouTube cover. Um, and uh, yeah. No, then I have to finish it quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you understand? I huh? I don't see the. Uh, uh, I can't vote. Why you... is not? Oh no, you can't vote. You know, I think that's why I set the polls originally to 10 minutes, because some of the people on mobile weren't able to see it until like about halfway into the poll. Um, if that's the case, I might have to change it back to 10 next time. I'm not gonna beg, but come on. <laughs> oh my. I mean, the vote for that one and voted for Tetsu on accident. You voted for Tetsu on accident? I want to vote. Can I vote? Yeah, I can vote. I want to vote for. I don't want. I don't want to draw the monkey. Um, I'm gonna draw the dragon. I'm kind of partial. There we go. Oh no, the dragon is losing. Why do I have to vote for the losing party all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I can't vote. Oh no. Which one would you vote for? I guess the monkey because we haven't. Voted, uh, we haven't done a monkey uh, type creature yet, and I guess again it's gruesome and yeah, like Rihanna it likes it too. Rih Rihanna likes the monkey. Yeah, it's like I'm the only one that likes the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> but the manicure is also it's it's a D and D character, uh, a very so I know a lot. That's also nice, and but dragons are also nice, so it, they are all three nice. Hi, hi, Fate Snow Bear, how's it going? Yeah, Sent you my address vote. and email. Dead. DM'd you on Discord. Okay, yeah, I just need your email. Um, if you want to delete the address before I see it, um, feel free. Yeah, because I only need your email. Because it, it'll come through your email. So that's why just make sure you have access to your email and you can get in there and there's no misspells. <laughs> like. Do I have to be a, boar, a bard first? A what? To be, be a what first? If we vote the monkey, that means Kong is gonna defeat Godzilla. No. Godzilla will always win. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, after I get bamboozled with Mothman came up the first time, dead, I have a vendetta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gore torso vampire. <laughs> Punky is swaying these votes. I she is swaying this vote. <laughs> I was actually putting up a preferred sheets for vampire while you gave feedback on the beautiful water horse. The demon vamp sounds interesting. There. Oh. It won! Okay, so we're drawing Whoa. the, um, man- man and <laughs> I- I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to say that now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> mandigal. What? How do you say it? Mandigal. M mandigal? M man man do man <laughs> man 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 <laughs> I also have a, uh, 
A chore? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, the deadline for the next challenge um, is the first Tuesday of the next month. So it is the second. So it is um, going to be um, March 2nd. Which honestly, I think that's our annual, I believe. March 2nd is our annual. It's gonna be our annual, I believe. I think we've been doing this for a year. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a year. It's our anniversary next month. <laughs> wow. That means I have 12 of those. Okay. I think I've done them all. All right, guys. So that's what we're working on is the Amanda Glow. So I, um, I'm going to switch uh, stream to a regular stream. Um, we're going to say goodbye to Rihanna. Bye, Rihanna. Thank you so much for hosting with me. You're amazing, and thank you for, yeah, for hanging out and and talking. And, and guys, um, please remember that Rihanna is a streamer, and uh, you can go and check her workout here on Switch. And she is a wood burning artist and a very supportive individual, as you see. And yes, <laughs> it's very early for me. <laughs> oh yeah, you you had to be up really early for this, so I appreciate uh, you. Quite a push four. <laughs> quite a push four. Oh my gosh, but I appreciate you. Thank you for no being here. No worries, it was very fun. I can really, and I thank you for not letting me read everything out loud because yeah, that would have been hard. It's okay, you you said, you know, English is not your first language and you were really worried about that. So I was, I was willing to take one, so, you know, <laughs> so you could be here. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, all right, well. Thank you all for your support. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna close this out. Close my Discord. Oh! I didn't hang up. <laughs> I think I have to hang up. I think that's how Discord works. Oh yeah, I didn't hang up. There you go. I hung up now. Uh, so yeah, um... So let's move into the other part of the stream, guys, where I just do the silly things like making panels and... Um, changing commands and things like that. You guys are more than welcome to hang out still. I appreciate you all being here. You're amazing. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with your um, man and man Miguel. <laughs> man and and gal. Man and and gal. Man and and gal. Man and and gal. I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it. I will. I'm gonna keep trying. Thanks right. for watching, guys. It was great to have you here. You made it to all the way to the end. We're greatly appreciated. It means a lot to the artists that that submit, and it, it means a lot to me as well. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching these VODs and these videos on YouTube, which wherever you're watching, and um, know that you really appreciate. And bye guys, <laughs> see you next time.